And again, isn't it nice here? Yes. Fresh air finally. What's this? Oh my god. Oh my god, is she alive? Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Come on. Come on. Today is the 12th, remember? That's great. When do you want me to come over? Yeah, let's do it. Mikhail Borisovic. Damn it. Dmitry Yuryevich. You promised me that the case would be closed as soon as possible. We're working. It won't be long before we catch the killer. It won't be long before we're drowned. If we don't secure the city. I just barely made it out of City Hall. There's a lot of people in there, they're yelling, how much longer, when is this gonna stop? And I'm asking you, when is it gonna end? Soon. Would you like some water? Thank you. I'll call the capital right away and ask them to send some proper specialists. But they've been catching maniacs for years too. Not like ours, with hundreds of victims. Listen to me. If anyone else gets killed, don't forget we're up for re-election. Is there some kind of apocalypse going on? Since you came in person, Pavel Sargevic. Almost. This is the third woman found dead in Chernuzersk in the last 10 days. And this is exactly your profile. There's panic in town. We need to act fast. How do they kill them? They drown them in lakes. There are three around town. I'll go to Chernuzersk tonight, but I need help. Take whoever you want, I'm giving you full carte blanche. Do you want some? I'm on duty. The usual. No one called her, threats, maybe? Or did she notice something strange? Maybe she was being followed. Ira, pull yourself together. I need a lead. You're her best friend and you should know why she went to the lake that night. I don't know why Luda went to the lake at night. Who are you? A cop. What rank? Still captain? Well, captain, this is your job. That's what I'm trying to find out. You're trying to? Yes. 
Well, Vitalik, that's your problem. You're just trying. You're just trying to do something. And you know what I tell you? You're not much of a man. And you're no cop, either. Ira, are you stupid? You took the time to talk with me about our relationship. I'm not talking about civic duty, but at least out of a sense of self-preservation. Can you help me? I already told you. I don't know who attacked her. You could be next. Are you threatening me? I'm not threatening you once. It's been so long since I've been here. Yes? It's good that we came here. Good morning, Arkady Lvovic. Good morning. Why aren't you packed? Where's the suitcase? Sit down, calm down, let's have some tea, we'll talk, sit down. I will, we have half an hour. Yes. Then we should be on our way, okay. All three victims are single, age range is 25 to 37. The first victim is Snezana Guzik, clerk at a candy store. Second victim Varvara Krivonis is a mailman. The third victim, yesterday's, Ludmila Shapovalova, accountant. Oksana, look, it's Taishi. It's one of the rare varieties of Oolong. Try it, take it. So, I'll move this to the side. Taste it. There's no resemblance between the victims. I don't know how the killer chose them. Okay, we'll talk business later. Smell the flavor. Go ahead. Come on. How's that? Can we talk business? We can talk business. Help yourself. And tell me, do you have any idea who we can delegate this to? What do you mean, delegate? Directly. I'm not going to that shithole. My stomach can't handle a meal in that backwater diner. I book two family rooms with home-cooked meals. I can imagine the service besides. Oksana, you know my brain needs peace and comfort to function properly. Favorite apartment. Favorite books, furniture. Couldn't you have told me that in the first place? Why am I wasting my time on this? Oksana, Oksana, wait, Oksana. You shouldn't go there either. Why not? Give up on this case. Why? Don't you understand why? I don't. I have to catch this maniac. Hello, dear viewers. With you again, Peter Chernyshenko and the unbelievable horrors in Chernyshenko. I decided to go swimming and then something grabbed me and pulled me under the water. Something or someone. I don't know, it put some shit on his arms, legs and neck and started choking me. That's it. Pedia, are you making the city panic again? No, mum, letting people know what's really going on. Or do you think that the body found at the lake is not real? And this guy really almost drowned, look. So it's Pasha, one of my former students. He's still in school, dabbled in drugs. Probably hasn't wised up since then. If he swam into a lily pad and started making a fuss, it's no wonder he got tangled up and almost went down. And that mum is not interesting to the viewer at all, but mystery stories are the best look. I've got 15,000 more on my channel this week. If this keeps up, producers will be chasing me and offering me work. All you want to do is go back to the capital. You'd do anything for that. Well, what do you want from me? You want me to stay here forever? I've almost recovered from my stroke. You can leave today. Mom, why are you saying that?
another 20 kilometers and we, Arkady Lvovic, will be able to appreciate the service of this town. Yes. How many people live in this Chernuzersk? According to the latest records, 40,000. And in such a small town they still can't find a single witness, a single piece of evidence or even a single suspect. They think the killer's not local. A lot of people vacation at these lakes on weekends. They come to relax. Quiet, quiet, are you alive? Come on, pull it. Come on. Come on, come on harder. Well, up uh, there. Oh my god. Uncle Grisha, maybe better go home, the wind is very strong. And you think we should leave that? And if it drowns us? Do not be afraid, it only attacks women. I heard already on men too, I read it on the internet. Give me the oars. Uncle Grisha, And you know what? Take your fish yourself. Anton, don't be silly. Don't be silly. I'll let go, I'll go home. Where will you go? To the hospital. What hospital? Are you kidding me? Quiet. He doesn't look drunk. Check his pupils, he's obviously on amphetamines. Shine a light in your eye, asshole. What are you doing? The braking distance is incorrect. Not 39 meters, but 42 and a half. I measured it while you were driving here. You work for the insurance company? No, police. Rewrite the diagrams. I'm not signing this. Don't tell me what to do, Yura. Go measure the brake trace again. Come on, hurry up, we gotta go. One more time, don't tell me what to do, you'll come with us to the hospital and take a breathalyzer test, and we'll see if you caused the accident. What did you say? Oksana, calm down, just one second, excuse me, Oksana, you're making trouble again. You know I don't like hacks. Now call your Pavel Sargavik, or we'll be here all night with them, go ahead. I won't bother him for nothing, we'll take care of it. Oksana. This is where we're gonna live. It's the best hotel in town. We'll check in and go meet our new co-workers. No, I've been up all night with this whole car accident thing. First a shower, breakfast, and at least a couple hours of sleep. Otherwise, I'll be incapacitated. All right, you go get some rest. I'm gonna go see where the police are. Will you put me in a room? Oksana, you need to rest sometimes, too. I'm not tired. Young lady, hello. Hello. Tell me, where can I register? We booked two rooms yesterday. Are you the investigators from the capital? I kept up half the night. Yes, I'm sorry, we didn't have time to warn you. We had an accident, some junkie swerved into oncoming traffic. That was a warning. What warning? From the drowned bride. That you stay out of her business. Drowned bride? Yeah, you don't know anything. Do you want me to tell you? No, why don't you register us in first? Here you go. Arkady Lvovic. Shulman, yes. Nice to meet you. 
We're almost the same age as you. You're much younger. Ah, uh, thank you. My name is Galina Semyonovna. Nice to meet you. What? Are you sure? Come on, I'll be right there. Good morning. Good morning. Can you tell me which office the boss is in? Here he comes. Here? Yes. Good morning, I'm Oksana Bileo. You should have been told I was coming. I need you to bring me up to speed right away. Didn't you ask for help with the lakeside murders? Me? No, that's what our mayor asked for. Miria's over there, let them explain it to you. So you're not interested in catching the killers? We can catch him without you. We have a very professional investigator. Your coffee, please. No sugar. Thank you, Tatiana. Anna Alexandrovna, anything else? No? Thank you, go ahead. Thanks. Anya is a magician. She always makes amazing coffee. Good for her. She orders it from somewhere in India. Mikhail Borisovic. Yes? We have a huge problem with these killers. Maxim called and said that it's impossible to invest money when such things are happening in the city. Anaka, I'm doing everything I can. Yesterday I called to the capital. I asked them to send a specialist. Good afternoon, Mikhail Borisovic Tarasik. Yes, what's happened? Why are you doing this to me? You invited me here, and I'm running all over the city looking for you. The mayor's office said you're here. And who are you exactly? I beg your pardon, Oksana Bilea, major case investigator. Oh, that's great. You know, we were expecting you yesterday. Anna Alexandrovna Kostritskaya. Meet. Nice to meet you. Will you investigating the dead lilies? Yes, I will. Only your chief of police isn't cooperating. Mikhail Borisovic, we need to do something to influence him. I need files on all three murders. Of course. I'll try to influence him. Dmitry Yurievich, why did you greet our guest from the capital so unkindly? Yes, I'm listening. Maybe some tea, coffee, water. No, thank you. It's out of the question. My husband and I are building a biological complex here. It's beautiful nature, healing mineral springs, but with these murders, it's very hard to convince investors. Here, we invited the best architects. We wanted to make a fashionable resort in the middle of a backwater town. But with these murders in Chernyuzersk, I don't know what to do. I'm all set. Let's go. Goodbye, Anya. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hands up. Hi, what's wrong? What are you doing here? I'm making a video. Or are you destroying evidence? Are you crazy? Where were you last night when Ludmila was killed? You found someone to suspect, a friend. So where were you? At home, of course, where else? And who can confirm that? You know that nobody, mom goes to bed early. Go on. Where? Take the boat. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Come on, tell me everything you know, weakling. The poachers told me that they wanted to take down the nets and then there was a storm. Anton saw a dark figure. He got scared and ran away. And I decided to make a video as the evil force scares the poachers. 
До браконьеров. Петя, Петя, Петя. If you keep staging your dramatizations, I'll never solve the case like this. I've told you many times, it's not staging, it's reconstruction. Hello, Dmitry Yuryevich. Shevchik, where the hell are you? On a deep lake, I'm conducting an investigative experiment. Immediately return to work. Why? I'm out of here, get out. Where are you going? Help me. Ira, wait. I'll do it myself, thank you. Arkady Lvovic. Galina Semyonovna, you won't believe it. At first I thought you were the hotel administrator. No, I'm the innkeeper. Luda was my receptionist, God rest her soul, and bookkeeper too. The last victim? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, tell me. Do you have any idea who killed her? Maybe a drowning bride or some other evil thing. We got a hell of a lot going on here. I'm sorry, did she have any enemies among the living? Luda, not at all. She's harmless, never quarreled with anyone, quiet and calm. Lonely and childless. The poor things had nothing in her life. Yes. Did she have any friends? Yes. Irina Ivashko. Irina Ivashko. Irina Ivashko. Who's that? Irina Ivashko. Is that some lonely, quiet woman, too? Ira? Yes. Not at all. She's totally reckless. Married twice already. She got married right out of high school. They sent a young policeman to our town, Vitaly Shevchuk. So she got control him down and left him three years later. Really? And immediately married Sergei Ivashko. By the way, she stole him from our Varvara, the postwoman. Oh. Hold on, didn't the mailman die, too? That's right. I've always said I ride ties to the evil element. Yes? Uh-huh. Where can I find Irina Vashko? She owns a restaurant downtown, right by the city hall. Irene or Irene. But we all call it Irina's. Irina's? Thank you, thank you very much. This is a delicious breakfast. Thanks. It's delicious. I'm gonna go for a walk. Arkady Lvovic don't order anything there. It's very expensive, and it's not tasty. Ira saves on products. No way, I like everything here very much. Arkady Lvovic, excuse me, you have powdered sugar on the face. Thank you. Where did the killer get the boats? We have plenty of them. Fishermen leave them on the shore, poachers hide them in bushes. Plus on all lakes there is a boat station to take vacationers for rides. We checked all the boats, but to no avail. Got it. Did you check the victim's contacts? Sure, in that respect, the most difficult is the very first victim, Snezana, the store where she worked were to be half people of the town. I get it. What was she doing at the lake before she was killed? I'm guessing she was there in the morning. Snezana was running around in that neighborhood in the morning. She didn't show up for work, but they found the body the next morning. Death did not occur until 12 o'clock at night, so she was held somewhere all day. Hey, Andrew. Hey, Chief. What are strangers doing in the office? This is Oksana Ivanovna Dmitry Yuryevik brought her in, said to bring her up to speed. Is he freaking out? Dmitry Yuryevik. If you decided to bring new people into the investigation group, you should have consulted me. The group is now headed by Major Blair from the capital. 
You're all at her disposal. Dima. That's an order. Come on, colleagues, get to work. The city expects quick results from you. Captain Shevchuk, I take it. That's correct. So we met. First thing we're gonna do is go to the morgue. I want to examine the victims' bodies. Yeah. Autopsies have already been done. There were no signs of physical or sexual abuse. I'm aware of that. Let's go. So, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Did you find something? Hello, Ruslan. You'll have to come to Chernyuzersk. I think I found traces on the mucosa. The local pathologist has no record of any. There could be a lot of other things they didn't find. When can you get there? Ah, uh, great. I'll be waiting. Please come in. Thanks. Lucia loved children very much. I kept telling her to forget about conventions. Do you want a baby? Have it on your own. She didn't want to do that. She wanted everything to be conventional. She wanted to get married. We don't have a choice of husbands here. Well, you can meet on the internet nowadays. Yeah, she met some wedding photographer from the regional center. She was even planning on going to see him. She was making plans. It didn't work out. Didn't have time. She was murdered. Tell me, did he come here? I don't think so. I think he had plans, but he had business. It didn't work out. What exactly are you looking for? We didn't look at anything except under a microscope, and it's all documented, right, Andre? Yes. So let me help you. Move over, please. Guys, was there a lot of wind that day? You mean, how did the boat come ashore? You see, Oksana, what's her middle name? Ivanovna. Ivanovna, there's a reverse bottom current on this lake. In addition to this conventional current related to the mixing of cold and warm water layers. If I want to ask you something, I'll be sure to do it. Let's go to the other lake where the postwoman was killed. That's the neighboring lake, right? Neighborhood, Andre. Yes. Go to town and question all of Ludmilla's neighbors. What about her? I'll walk out this tourist myself. Got it. Guys, that's it for today. Dismissed. Were these lilies strewn over Varbera's body? Yes. So the evidence is just sitting there rotting away. Are you kidding me? 
What the hell kind of evidence is that? What am I supposed to do with it? Dry them in a herbarium? Take it to the morgue and put it in the freezer. Why? I examine them, there's no sign of them. Just because you examine them doesn't mean there's nothing there. Go to hell. Captain Shevchuk, stop being hysterical and get back here. We're not done yet. You're the hysterical one. You found yourself an errand boy. Wait, how did he disappear? He's been gone a couple days. Did he steal it? Eric, you have to control your people. Why do I have to solve your problems? Because that's what you get paid for. No, you got it wrong. I don't get paid to chase your junkies. Solve this problem with boys on your own. I will. Good for you. By the way, there's a woman from the capital. An investigator looking for a killer. She's a bitch, sticks her nose everywhere. So beef up the security and tell the boys not to talk too much. Bye. Bye. Vettel. Wow, hello. And now Vitaly is looking better. Turned into a pretty girl. Who are you? Allow me to introduce myself. Peter Chernyshenko, local journalist. And you are? How did you get in here? The usual. This is my buddy's office, Vitaly Shevchuk. Now it's my office, too. Okay, where's Vitaly? I'd like to know the same thing. I have to close the office. What do you mean, I have to leave? Oh, okay. Can I help you? I know everybody here. Look, I can be of service to you. Where are you going now? Interview the victim's family. Well, let me show you the way. I have a GPS. A thank you. Can you at least tell me your name? I'm Petter. Nice to meet you. I was in another city. At my eldest daughter's. I was nursing my grandson. Snezana was home alone. Maybe if I hadn't left, she'd still be alive. Do you know who could have killed her? If I did know, Is that Cowell's car? Yes. Is the police chief a neighbor of yours? Yes. And what was his relationship to your daughter? Neighborly all his life. They just said hello, and lately, they haven't even said hello anymore. How long ago? About two months ago. Why? Snezana didn't want to tell me. She just said he was a bastard. Thank you. Girls. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, ladies. Hello. Hello, a cup of coffee, please. Galina Simonovna. Arkady Lvovic, why don't you join us? It's just that Galina said that you're such a great conversationalist. It's a pleasure. 
I don't know. I'd love to. We'd be delighted, right, girls? Yes. Good evening. You again. I wanted to show you something about the dead Lily's case. What do you got? Wandering lights on a deep lake. What? No, the fishermen told me about it themselves. I thought they were lying, but yesterday I saw myself. Take a look. The night mode on my phone isn't great, but in person. It's spectacular. Sure. Let's go see it, shall we? I had water dripping from the ceiling the day before yesterday when they found Luda's body. I went to the upstairs neighbors to complain, and they were dry. Yes. You have problem neighbors. No, Gregory. My age. And Anton, his nephew, they often fish at the lake. What kind of fishing? Poachers. On the lake. That's interesting. What did you say their name was? Gregory and Anton. Gregory and Anton, your neighbors. Where are the lights? I swear to you they were, somewhere in the middle of the lake. It's about 20 feet deep. So, you don't think I've met enough guys like you? A female investigator is such an insult to a man's ego. You can't hit on me, so you have to make a fool out of me? We need to find out who Lyad Mila's fiancé was and if any of the other victims had a similar relationship. I'm guessing this photographer fits the role of a maniac. Some kind of aesthetic who carefully places his victims in boats and decorates them with lilies. I agree. You look like you're from a hungry land, haven't you eaten today? I didn't have time, would you like some? I don't want any, you're not sparing yourself. Next, we must talk to the family of poachers. I do not like that they on the night of Ludmilla's murder almost flooded the neighbor's apartment. What about you? Turns out the police chief had a conflict with the first victim. I'll try to find out what it was about tomorrow. I've also got some journalist hitting on me, tried to solicit my help. I barely got away from him. What kind of journalist? I'm looking for his internet channel. He was bragging, that must be him. Well. The first tragedy occurred more than 50 years ago, when local beauty Maya Frolova found out about her fiancé's infidelity. She drowned herself the night before her wedding. Locals say that you can hear moans on the lake. And now in the 21st century, the drowning bride is back. I think he made the whole thing up. Why did you refuse his help? He's clearly in possession of misinformation. He was too pushy in offering it to me, and I don't like being dragged into this games. Arkady Lvovic, wait. Why don't you come over for lunch during the break? I'll make a nice roast. Oksana, what do you think of this? That's a bad sign. A sign from the drowning bride. You need to leave. Looks like someone's trying to scare you, Oksana. I even know who. Hello, Ruslan. How long have you been here? Hi, an hour ago. You decided to help. No, we have our own thing to do. You find something? Uh, not yet. 
How are you guys doing? Taking a vacation? Yeah, it's a resort. I've never seen a resort like this before. The bed is uncomfortable, and the food in the hotel is terrible. Arkady Lvovic, don't talk badly. The food is fine. So... Just as I thought, Ruslan, take a look, please. The cuts are different. The fresher ones are cut with a blunt knife, and the water-damaged ones with a sharper one, is that right? Yes. So I'm guessing the gift wasn't from the killer. We should get on it anyway. Yes. Dmitry Yuryevich. Are you aware that your employees are boycotting me? No one from the investigative team is on site, and no one's picking up the phone. Would you like I be honest with you? Yes, I do. Have a seat. Oksana Ivanovna, it's your own fault. My people are not used to the kind of treatment you allow yourself. This is not the capital. So learn to interact with people normally. Are you very good at interacting with people? That's why you had a confrontation with your first victim, Snezana Gudzik. Don't listen to the local gossip. Snezana's mother told me about it. Says you didn't even say hello to her. Poor woman. Angry that we haven't found her daughter's killers yet. She's overreacting, which is understandable. Any other questions? Well, Arkady Lvovic, no one wants to help us. Maybe they'll even get in the way. Don't worry, I have excellent informants in the person of Galina and her friends. Have a drink. I made a fresh one. And you? I'll make me one drink up. Thank you. We can run a parallel investigation. I'm not going to investigate anything. I'm on vacation, and especially not on my dime. I've known you for years. Don't tell me that you've given up. Failed. Let's team up and show the capital star who's boss. All right. Yes. Hello, Petr. This is Oksana Bileya. I wanted to interview you about Snezana Gudzik. Let me know when it's convenient for you to come by to the place where her body was found. In about 40 minutes. Great. Thank you. See you then. Did the star call? Are you ready to run? I won't go willingly. She'll summon me with a subpoena. Don't be angry, I'll try to gain her trust and find out something about the progress of the investigation. Good luck. A date with a journalist? No, interviewing an important witness. He was the one who found the body of the first victim. I knew you'd watch his video to the end. Listen, Oksana, I'm not your psychologist anymore. I'm your colleague and hopefully a friend, so if you want to talk about... No, I don't want to talk about that. Thanks for the tea. That's where I saw her, and I immediately called Vitaly. 
Did you manage to record a video while waiting for our friend? Is that forbidden? I didn't touch anything. I tried not to step on anything. And what were you doing here early in the morning with a camera? Just walking. I always take the camera with me. I see. Who did you suspect first when you saw the body? But don't tell me fairy tales about a drowned bride killing girls. Boris, Snezana's boyfriend. They recently broke up. Interesting. Snezana's mother said she didn't have a boyfriend. He served time for robbery, and she kept it a secret from her mother and her friends too. But not from you. People can't hide anything from me. Do you know Boris's last name too? Yes, Biorovich. Thanks for your help. I'm going now. Are you heading downtown? Can you give me a lift? No, a bouquet in today's style is not to my liking. What are you talking about? You know very well what I'm talking about. Stop playing these games. Um. Arkady Lvovic, did they take that idiot who nearly ran us over on the road to the regional hospital? Yes, why? I'm going there. It seems he's involved in the case of the dead lilies. Apparently, he was Snezana's boyfriend. Petter. Petter. Where's Gurevich? Hasn't he eaten anything? He went out into the corridor. Someone called him. Long ago. No, about 40 minutes ago. Yes, of course, Galina. Don't worry, we'll definitely come. All right, I'll call back in two minutes. Hey, have a seat. Well, Oksana, did you find Burevik? The orderly saw him leaving in a car. He didn't remember the license plate. Damn. He hasn't shown up at his place in Chernyuzersk either. I just came from there. That means we need to put out a search for him. I don't think he's the killer. He's clearly an amphetamine user and couldn't meticulously plan a crime and leave no traces. But maybe he's somehow connected to our serial killer. Or perhaps he heard something interesting from the deceased but, due to his addiction, couldn't assess its value. Agreed. He's now in the search database. What do you have, Ruslan? Microtraumas were found in the mouth of the first victim. She was likely unconscious but resisted. They probably sedated her with chloroform. Later, the killer improved his technique, and traces of injections were found in the ears of the second and third victims. What substance? Most likely a strong tranquilizer. Everything will be clear once we get the toxicology results. So, our killer has a medical background. Not necessarily. If it's catamin, veterinarians use it for anesthesia. Anesthesia, yes. For drug addicts. It's a possibility. Thanks, Ruslan. I'll head out then, hopefully. We won't see each other in Chernyuzersk anymore. Knocks on wood. Has this collective psychosis affected you? No, I have a feeling this is just the beginning. Just say, spit three times. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye, all right. Oksana, let's go to the hotel. Galina has called a few times already. She's waiting for us for dinner. Not for us, but for you. Do you want to make up for Petter? By the way, how did your conversation with him go? He knows quite a bit. He's playing his own game. I wouldn't be surprised if he warned Gurevich that I was coming. She's calling again, let's go. All right, I'll take you to the hotel and yourself. And what about myself? 
I'm going for a swim. Where? To the lake. Have you gone crazy? Don't worry. Oksana, you're once again. Oksana Oksana, what's wrong? You ran past the cafeteria really fast, you didn't even tell me if you were having dinner. I'm cold, I wanted to take a hot shower. It's no big deal. I won't eat. I brought you some tea, have some, so, let's brainstorm with you, I don't think I'm getting it right. So technically, all three of our victims share common characteristics, gender, place of residence, all three are single and relatively young. But there's one thing, Oksana, can you hear me? Yes. Now, our first victim Snezana was running around a lake in this neighborhood and it's safe to assume that the killer picked her up there. But our other victim, Barvara, wasn't into fitness. And she's not exactly an outdoorsy type, either. So either she was lured there or she was forced there. And our third victim, Ludmila, is interesting, according to her friend Irina. She was scared to death of the drowned bride. It was impossible to get her there. Which begs the question, why would our killer take such a risk? Pulling people out of the center and dragging them to the lake. There are only two answers. Either our killer is playing around, wants to show his elusiveness and ingenuity, or all three victims were chosen for a reason. What do you think? Our Katie Lovic. Let's talk tomorrow. I'm sleepy. Tomorrow? All right. And drink all the tea. Mom, someone's here for you. Who did you send to intimidate and spy on me? Calm down, not so fast. 
I have no idea what you're talking about. Yes, you do. They were waiting for me by the lake. Pedia, who is it? Mom, you're not gonna believe this, but this girl's a cop. Meet the dead Lily's investigator. Who did you run into at the lake? Can you describe him? A head taller than me, voice is husky, black trench coat. I couldn't see his face. He was wearing a hood. I don't think it was a he. I think it was a she, Olga Kasheva. Who is it? A local witch. This is nonsense. Would you like tea? Come in. Olga came to Chernuzersk about 30 years ago. Where did she come from? No one knows. No one knows what she used to do either. Thank you, Mummy. She was about 25 years old then. No home, no family. Bought a little house on the edge of the woods. Didn't plan on getting a job. She went to the woods to pick some herbs. Me and the boys decided to follow her one day. There were a lot of arguments about why she moved to our town, so we followed her. We got to the far lake, a deep one, that's where she found us, said if she ever saw us here again, we'd stay in the wood. The sight of her and her voice made our feet stick to the ground. Kids are impressionable. It's not hard to scare them. Yeah, they're impressionable, but not that impressionable. Olga clearly has some kind of paranormal ability. How do you explain the fact that she heals people with herbs, can see the future? Look, she doesn't cure everyone. It's selective. Apparently, she's afraid of difficult cases, but her predictions are a bunch of crap. Really? How do you explain her predicting the lake murders? What do you mean? Olga was against building the Baronia therapy clinic in the first place, said tampering with nature would anger the spirits, a lot of people would get hurt, and some would even die. I can think of a million scary stories like that. Where can I find her? Enter eight lakeside lane into the navigator. But I don't recommend you go to her place at night. It could end badly. Oksana, I forgot to tell you, when I spoke to Varvara's colleagues yesterday, no one had heard that she had registered on a dating site or had even tried to find someone. I got it. Thank you. I'll take you to the station, and I'll go see the witch. Why don't I come with you? I can handle a charlatan posing as a witch of my own. It's more important to me that you profile our serial killer. I got it. Good morning. Arkady Lvovic. Hello. What will you have for breakfast? The usual. Oksana? Me too, as usual. Oh, meal? Oh, yeah, sure. This is private property. I know it is. Excuse me, we need to talk. I don't need to talk to you. Go away. Either we're gonna talk, or I'm gonna call you in for questioning by the police. It's your choice. What do you want to talk about? Who sent you here to intimidate me? I didn't bully you. 
I wanted to warn you. About what? Pull three cards. I don't believe that. I didn't call you. You came on your own. You asked me a question. And if you want an answer... Draw cards. Who do you work for? No one. Who killed the three women at the lakes? I don't know. What kind of witch are you if you don't know anything? Who told you I was a witch? Listen more, anyone fools. Who are you? I'm a seer. And what do you see? There's a lot of fear in you. You're afraid of water. And you're afraid of people. That's not true. Someone has hurt you very badly. A man. A father. I don't think so. There's obviously no blood connection. Someone you let get too close to you. Do you know where Boris Girovich is? No, I don't. But I can look it up. Take a look, please. Is he the killer? I don't think so. He's feeling trapped right now. He wants to get out of it sooner rather than later. He's going to leave far away, probably overseas. When? Where to? I don't believe it. What do you know? Hello, beauties. You look great. Hi, you here on business? Oh, business. I'm here to see your boss. Oh, uh, hold on. Do you have time for my appointment? Yes. Well, I'll call you later. You can now. Can I? Yes. Oh, thank you. Wow. Tell me you brought the promotional materials you promised a week ago. You betcha. Sorry for the delay. It's just with all these murders. It's all slipped my mind. I've seen your videos. How was it? Your energy could be used for peaceful purposes. Who'd want to come to Chernyuzersk after all the publicity you've given it? Anya, by the time you and Maxim finish this complex, everyone will have forgotten about the martyrs. I'm not sure about that. I can't expect a fee. Unlike you, I keep my word. Good morning. How was your conversation with Olga? It was fine. It's hard to refuse to talk to me. Yeah. Piotr... 
You're almost the only one who knew about Snezana's affair with Gurevich. Any idea where he might have gone? Snezana consulted me last month about whether or not she should go to work with Borea. Where to? His bot and a friend from the city offered them both a job on a cruise ship. What bartender? You know him. Not personally, but I know where he works. Borea used to drive me to the region and we'd stop by his place. Tell me about it. We'll go there together, or I won't tell you anything else. Are you coming? I understand Snezana trusted you and you were close. Sexually? I'm not interested in your sex life. That's what I thought for some reason. We had a good, almost friendly relationship. On what grounds? You couldn't study together. She's 10 years younger than you. You live across town. No common interests either. You're not into jogging. And she wasn't into mysticism. You got me? If you want a heartbreaking story, there isn't one. It's a small town and I'm a sociable person. I'm friends with everyone. Even the chief of police? Wow, you didn't like Dmitry Yuryevich? That's not surprising. Don't answer a question with a question. Okay. When I was 14 or 15 years old, he was our precinct commander and I was never a good boy. We had some disagreements about that. I see. What happened with him and Snezana? They say there was some kind of conflict. I don't know. She never told me anything like that. Well, what was your relationship with the other two victims, Varvara Krivonis and Ludmila Shapoval? Look, we've been traveling for an hour and you've been interrogating me for an hour. Aren't you sick of it? No, I'm not. This is my favorite job. What made you want to be an investigator in the first place? Oh, uh, why? It's clear to me. I've wanted to be an actor since I was a kid. Applause, flowers, and you? I mean, little Oksana was sitting there thinking, when I grow up, I'll catch maniacs. Is that how it works? Are you trying to write material for another video or are you just going off topic? What's the deal with Krivonis and Shapovalova? You're insufferable. Anya, good afternoon. May I sit down? Sure, have a seat. Thank you. It's good to see you. You too. Have you heard from Maxim? Nothing yet. I suppose he's coming to your birthday party. How do you know? <laughs> your niece Tanya, my secretary, must have told you. I'll scold you for leaking information. Don't be. I think she's only doing it out of the goodness of her heart. Of course, Makem will come. We never miss each other's birthdays. That's very nice. Hello, Mikhail Borisovic. Hello, Irina. What can I get you? The usual? No, unfortunately, you can imagine I've been banned from everything. Fried, fatty, and, I mean, everything's off limits. Sorry to hear that. Yes. Don't worry about it. I'll ask Sergei to come up with something dietary. Ask him, please. Do you want anything else? No, thank you. Uh, 
Anya, I don't want to ask, but we'd like to congratulate you personally. We? Yes, we do. The best people in town, the ones who are going to invest in our aquatic center. To be honest, I wasn't planning on doing anything. There's a lot going on in town, and I don't want to have a plague feast. No. Come on, what kind of feast are you talking about? We'll just sit in cozy company and think about how to fix things. Let's go. What's the bartender's name? I don't remember. Does he recognize you? 50-50. Is that him? No, it's not. Good afternoon, come in. Choose a table. Hi. Oh, uh, do you know if you have another bot in the working the second shift? Talik? Yes. It's not his shift today. That's a pity. How can we find him? I need to deliver something. I don't know, I'm sorry. Good afternoon. Can you tell me how to find Talik? No, I don't know. I'm new here. Hey, Where are you going? Can I have water without gas? Sure. Oksana Ivanovna. Who are you? Shulman, Arkady Lvovic Shulman, Psychotherapy. Dmitry Yerevich, Chief of Police. Nice to meet you. Where's Oksana Ivanovna? I don't know, probably in town interviewing people. Do you have an address? Yes. Have a nice day. Hello? Talik. Somebody came for you. They were looking for you. The chief gave them your address. Actually, I specialize in creating psychological profiles of serial killers. What can you tell me about our subject? It may sound cynical, but three victims are not enough for a comprehensive analysis of the criminal's behavior. However, I can confidently say that the killer is local. Why do you think so? Well, based on the method of committing the crimes, serial killers are divided into organized and disorganized types. And we are dealing with a very calculated type. By the way, would you like some tea? I just brewed some Chinese tea. Tea? Yes, tea. Me? No, thank you. All right. Let's move on. Our subject does not fit the profile of a wandering maniac since similar crimes have not been committed anywhere else. This suggests that it's a local type. Typically, this combination allows us to label them as a neighbor maniac. They appear normal and well-adjusted, familiar with the victims, and don't arouse suspicion. That's why Aksana mentioned that it seemed like I had a conflict with Snijana Gudzik. I happened to be her neighbor. I'm sorry, but there was no conflict. It's just that the town is tense, and everyone blames the police for everything. Believe me, if you stay here and can't find the culprit, you also start being blamed for everything. Would you like some tea after all? No, you carry on with your work. I won't disturb you. Let's get out of the car. It's the police.
Ira. Good evening. Hello, Svetlana Mikhailovna. I came to see Sergei regarding a matter. All right, Sergei, Sergei. Yes, hello, Svetlana Mikhailovna. Hello, tomorrow is Anna's birthday. And I would like to order a cake, the same one as Maxim had on his birthday. The guests loved it. I won't have time, I have plans for tomorrow. Svetlana Mikhailovna, I think Sergei's plans can wait until tomorrow. Come by tomorrow, everything will be ready. Ira, thank you. I'll be there at 3 o'clock p.m. Is that convenient, Sergei? Yes, it is. Sergei, get back to work. Thank you, Ira. I forgot to mention. You asked if I noticed anything strange in Varvara's behavior before her death. It slipped my mind. She was in such a good mood before she died. She was planning to buy an apartment. They used to live in some shack before. She inherited it from her grandmother, and now she's getting a two-bedroom apartment in the city center. And how much do such apartments cost? Expensive, around twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars. Our salaries at the post office are meager. Where did she get that kind of money? I asked her, but she jokes about it and says she earned it. She earned it? Yeah. But where could she earn that much? At the post office. I see, interesting. Thank you, yeah, 20 to 25,000? Yes, exactly. In the city center, two bedroom. Bring him in for questioning. And thank you, we'll take it from here. I hope I don't have to explain anything about the confidentiality of the investigation and that you won't share anything online. Of course, I'm clever enough. That's good to know, goodbye. Did you arrest him for murder? Currently, it's for drug possession and assaulting a law enforcement officer. We'll find out his connection to the dead Lily's case during the interrogation. Great. I'll gather my team and go to his apartment for a search. Do you have a warrant? I'll handle it. Why did you break up with Snijana? We didn't date, so there was no breakup. That's not true. There are witnesses who saw you together. She found out that you use and distribute drugs. Did you have a fight because of that? I don't use or distribute anything. They were planted on me. Stop playing dumb. Kirovich, two days ago, you almost crashed into my car while being under the influence of drugs. Seriously? I don't remember. Why did you run away from the hospital? I didn't run away. I got bored, so I left. Why didn't you go back home? So that my mother wouldn't nag me about the accident. So you do remember the accident? I don't remember. I told you the investigator came to question me and showed pictures of the burnt car. Did Snijana know about the drugs, right? You were afraid she would report you to the police? So you killed her. She didn't know anything. I didn't kill her. And yet, you don't remember the day she disappeared or the night she was killed. Are you kidding me? It's been two weeks. I don't remember anything. Where were you in the evening when Varvara Krivonis was attacked? Hold on, Varvara. How am I even related to her? Can I ask? Did you know that she had a large sum of money? How would I know that? I'm neither her brother nor her relative. And where did you get the money for a batch of drugs? What drugs? They're not mine. They were planted on me. Take the detainee away. Is that it? I'll say it again, it's most likely not him. 
He's not sharp enough for that. Or he's pretending. All right, let's go. I'll take you to the hotel. What about you going swimming again? Maybe you should postpone these executions until you get back home. No. Your juice, Oksana, Arkady Lvovic. Thank you, Galina Semyonovna. Enjoy your meal. Thanks. Enjoy your meal. Enjoy your meal, thank you. By the way, do you like everything at our hotel? Us? Yes. Well, I didn't wait for you for dinner yesterday. If there's anything you don't like, just let me know. I won't be offended. Galina Semyonovna, what are you talking about? We like everything. We just stayed late at work yesterday. And when we came back, we didn't want to wake you up. You were working? Yes. Were you interrogating Boris? Is he the killer? How do you know about Boris? The whole town already knows about it since you and Petter caught him yesterday. Good morning. I have an idea. I suggest going to check it out. Should I just include you in the investigation team right away or appoint you as the leader? I don't understand what's with the negativity. I want to help. I asked you yesterday not to tell anyone about our trip in Boris. But I didn't tell anyone. Then why does the whole town know about it? Count how many police officers know about it here, and then imagine how many relatives and acquaintances they have. Chernyzysk is a big village. Goodbye. What are you doing? Dmitry Yuryevich asked me to take this to the conference room. You're leaving, right? What do you mean? To the capital. Dmitry Yuryevich broke Gurevich. Return it back. We searched Gurevich's apartment and found the first and second victim's belongings. Gudzik and Krivonos. Then we came here. And I personally interrogated Girovich. He confessed to all three murders. Motive. He killed Snezana Guzik out of jealousy. She told him she'd found someone else. He denies any connection between them. He doesn't deny it anymore, realized there was no point. He killed Krivonis for money. He found out she wanted to buy an apartment. And Shapoval got a taste for it. And thank you so much for stopping him in time, Oksana Ivanovna. I called your superiors and thanked them for your excellent work. It was a pleasure to investigate with you. Wait a minute, what if Gurevich incriminated himself? Why, he's a drug addict, but he's not an idiot. Arkady Lvovic says he doesn't fit the profile. Everybody's wrong, and Arkady Ovovic too. In any case, we won't leave until we've conducted an investigative experiment. Suit yourself. Yesterday, you denied that you had an affair with Snezana Gudzik and that you killed her. What happened? Were you intimidated? Or were you offered money to take the fall for someone else? 
I killed all three of them, okay. I figured you'd prove it anyway. So what's the holdup? Where did you keep Snezana all day before you killed her? Nowhere. We went for a walk. Where were you walking? Where? Nowhere. In the woods by the lake. So you're saying she left you for another man and yet she agreed to spend the day with you? Yes. I'm not a stranger to her and she wanted to make up. Why'd you kill her if she wanted to make up? She left me. And that's unforgivable. Anna Alexandrovna. Dmitry Yuryevic. Happy birthday. Thanks you. That's for you, too. It's beautiful. Tanya said these are your favorites. Oh, no. You didn't have to. Aren't you coming tonight? It's a bit awkward without an invitation. Mikhail Borisovic said the best people in town would be there, and I was sure you'd come. I realize you have a job to do and a maniac to catch. We've already caught him. You did? Yes. This is the best birthday present ever. Who is he? I'll tell you tonight since I'm invited. I'll see you at 8 o'clock p.m. Don't be late. Okay. I'll call Maxim right now and tell him that investors can safely give their money to us. See you then. You got it? Carry it. Stop fooling around. Hi. Hi. Give me another ride, big turtle. Please show me how you killed her. Threw her in the water. I dived in and pulled her down to the deep and and held her there until she stopped moving. How long would you hold it like that? <laughs> you think I was there with a stopwatch? Two, three minutes at least. How do you stay underwater like that? I came up out of the water. Where did you get the lilies you used to decorate her body? Are you kidding me? They're all over the place. Out, out. Use your imagination. Use logic. Did you rip them off? Yes. Show me how. Wait. It's okay. Let him show me. Let him show me. I remember, I cut them off with a knife. A knife. Up a knife. I killed them. I killed them all. Because I hate them. Got it. What are you standing around for? Get him. You got it. Pedia. Come here, look. At what? Found this in the mailbox. Tonight at 9 o'clock p.m. at Black Lake. Come or you'll regret it. What's this? You still managed to cross someone? Mom, what are you talking about? Who? The drowned bride or Pasha and the poachers? Give me the envelope. 
You realize this is clearly a threat, and you're being called to the lake for a reason. It's clearly connected to the dead Lily case. You need to show this to Oksana. Mom, I don't owe Oksana anything. Where are you going now? Mom, don't worry, I'm going to Vitalix. Kisses. Can't you tell me on the phone? I see, what time do you work till? Okay, I'll be there. Ira, I'll be gone for three hours. Where to? Business. You'll go tonight. You haven't finished decorating the cake yet. Plus, people are coming over for dinner. It'll be closed tonight, and I've got some shopping to do in the region. You'll spend the night at your cousin's. You'll buy it in the morning and come back. You just want to get your husband out of the house for the night, don't you? You got a new hairdo. I wonder who for. A normal man would be happy that his wife looks like that. Or maybe one of my subscribers is joking. Probably a subscriber. Thank you. What if it's a message from a maniac? You don't know, Girovich has taken over all the murders. Are you serious? And you believe that? Why would a killer call you to the lake? He's pretty demonstrative, haven't you noticed? Maybe he wanted more glory. Anyway, here's the story. There are two pairs of prints on the envelope. There's one here, and they're all fresh. On my mom's envelope, on the letter is mine. Prudent Joker. Suryaza, hurry up. Svetlana Mikhailovna is here. And don't forget the squid salad. Tea or coffee? No, thank you. Here's some cake and salad for you. Why isn't it decorated? Come on, move it. Dmitry Yurievich. Gurevich didn't kill anyone. How can you be so sure? He is confused in his testimony and does not know important details. So he's a drug addict. What if the real killer doesn't stop? Gurevich is the real killer. I know it's frustrating that you didn't crack him, but what can we do? Was he going through withdrawal? You dosed him in exchange for his testimony. Are you out of your mind? Are you gonna accuse me of torture? Calm down. What time is it? Half 9 p.m. Let's focus, you go right. I'll go left, it's a better chance of catching him off guard. Let's hope we're the first ones here. Put the phone on mute. Keep in touch. Go ahead. Anya, you are as beautiful as ever. Good evening. Good evening. Where's Maxim? We're waiting for him. He should be here any minute. Svetlana Mikhailovna, will you open up? Yes. He must have forgotten my keys again. Career? Anna Alexandrovna, you have a secret admirer? Such a beauty. Excuse me.
Yes, my dear. I got it. How can you not come right now? I wish you good luck. I love you very much. I'm waiting, bye. That's fantastic. He's negotiating with Grabovsky. He said they found the killer and Grabovsky's decided to put up two dollars million to build the complex. That's great. Well, now we can put up our own money more modestly, of course. Friends, let's drink to the beautiful lady of the house and to Maxim, who's so lucky to have a wife. I'm lucky to have him, too. Svetlana Mikhailovna, join us. Come on. Happy birthday. Hooray. Hooray. They've divorced us like children. Can we wait any longer? Wait. Feed the mosquitoes. I'll go. Oh, Antonina, come on, open up, I want coffee. What's closed? As you can see. I don't have the keys. Are you sure it's locked? That's strange. I'll call Irina. Right away, girls. I told you Gurevich wasn't a killer, and there will be more victims. Maybe it's his accomplice. No sign of Chernyshenko. That's odd. Such an event for his channel. Hi. So here's the situation. I got an anonymous call. Hi, Ruslan. I need you. We got a new body. No, there's a difference. Abrasions on the face. And the body wasn't stowed in the boat. It was thrown. And the lilies are scattered haphazardly. You think someone's mimicking the style of the previous martyrs? Could be. Or the serial killer didn't get it right. He was in a hurry, nervous. Or the victim showed resistance. Or someone spooked him. Who found the body? We don't know. There was an anonymous call to the desk clerk, male voice. Don't you have a record of the numbers the calls came from? Yes, I do. The call came from her number. Excuse me. Did you find a phone near the body? Yes, but not in the boat, here on the beach. Thank you. You heard, right? Hi. Hi. You know, I wanted to go to the lake yesterday. I had a feeling something was gonna happen. If it wasn't for that anonymous letter, I might have prevented a murder. That's why they sent it to you. Everyone knows we're friends. That's why they decided to lure us away from the murder scene. What are you gonna do next? I'm gonna take the letter to Cowell. If I'm right, it's evidence. He'll send you away. Fine. Where are you going? To shoot another story. Oh sure, if I miss this, my followers won't forgive me. Do you know if Oksana's still there? I don't know. Can't wait to see her. On the contrary, I don't want to see her. Allow me. Sure. Don't lock it. Yeah, you 
was she killed tonight? Who would do that? Did you have accomplices? Or did you kill alone? Alone. Could anyone have seen you at the scene? Yeah. Looks like the killer did some serious digging. No messenger. All deleted. Yes, can we trace the calls? You got it. But if it's our killer, it won't do any good. He's very careful. I'll go to the cave and talk to her husband and her staff. You keep an eye on them. Antonina, hello? Can you tell me... What are you doing? The owner was killed, and you're stealing food. I'm not stealing. Sergei Vasilevich asked me to bring it to the house for the wake. Then I beg your pardon. Can I help you? How far do they live? Yes, far away. It's about 40 minutes on foot. I'll do it myself. Come on, I have a car. I'll tell Sergei Vasilevich that you can't bully your employees like that. Let's do it. Don't. He didn't ask for anything. I made up my own mind. He and Irina had a fight yesterday, and I thought the groceries would go to waste. A fight? Yeah. He had to do something, she wouldn't let him in, he freaked out and left. Where to? Your experts are no better than our local investigators. Yes, tell me. Thank you. Couldn't you send someone more qualified, I see. Okay. Goodbye. Is it true? It's a disaster. If Maxim's negotiations with Grubovsky break down now, I don't know where we'll get the money for construction. Are you saying today or tomorrow he has to make a deal? If he doesn't find out about the new murder, let's do it this way. I'll do whatever it takes to keep new information out of our press. And you try to expedite the negotiations. I'll make a deal, but what do we do with Peter Chernyshenko and his channel? You're absolutely right. Just a second. Luba, get me Peter Chernyshenko's phone number. Yes. I don't care which one. Hurry up. The body of the first victim was found in a deep lake, the second in a black lake, the third on a Pacific lake. The body of the fourth victim, Irina Ivashko, was found again on the deep lake. What do you think the drowned bride is trying to tell us with this alternation? And does it mean that the next victim will be on the black lake? Hello, yes. One second. Pedia, the mayor's calling you. The mayor? Good afternoon, Mikhail Borisovic. Why such secrecy? Everyone already knows about it anyway. 
Patia, I've told you a hundred times, what you're doing is anti-advertising of the city. Do you have any patriotism? Believe me, I have a lot more than you do. Unfortunately, the video's already been posted online. I got to run. Have a good day. Well, look at this. Here, here, right? I'll take care of it. So what now? Take him to his cell. Arcadio Volvi. Yes. What do you think? You mean about Girovich? Yes. He's definitely involved in something tense and scared. But he's not directly involved in the murders. He must have heard or seen something bodies tense, but his facial expressions are sparse. It's like he's afraid to say anything. Yes, Dmitry Yuryevich. Dmitry Yuryevich. Hello, hello. I have something to talk to you about. Later, I'm busy. It's important. I've been waiting for you for two hours. I'm telling you I'm busy. Yes, Mikhail Borisovic. Okay, I'll take care of it. Arkady Ovolvi. Yes? I'll come to you in an hour and we'll discuss everything in detail. Dima. You can't speak ill of the dead. She was always humiliating him in front of everyone. What kind of man could take it? Did they fight a lot? He put up with it for a long time. I guess he didn't want to fight in front of his son. But when he took Valera to his mom, it started. It's their apartment. Can I wait for you by the car? Okay. Antonina, hello, what are you doing here? Good afternoon, Sergei Vashko. Yes, what's up? Tell me, where were you tonight? Why? Answer the question. I have the right to know what's going on, and without a lawyer, I may not answer at all. Your wife was murdered. Come here or you'll regret it. Why didn't you bring it yesterday? You were at a birthday party. Couldn't you have called? What would I have said? It looks like a prank. Yes. Okay. Your vacation's over, you're going back to work immediately. Under Belea's supervision? No, my own since you're Irina's ex-husband. And we have to find the killer first. Yes. Get in, let's go. What did you swallow? I didn't swallow anything. Get out of the car. Did you swallow the other SIM card? No, I only have one. Can I go home now? Go ahead. We'll take it from here with the patrolman. If you do anything else, you'll spend the night in a cell, okay? Good afternoon. I'm here to see you. Hello, Mitri Yurievich. Hello, Vitalik. Hello. Is Pete at home? At home. What happened? Nothing, just routine investigative work. 
Hello, hello. Is this about the letter? Not only that, we're temporarily seizing this. You have no right. You can complain. I will complain. Patia. Why did you bring me here? It's standard procedure for relatives to identify victims. Look at the victim. Do you recognize the wife? Yeah, that's her. Why did you kill her, Sergei Vasilevic? I didn't kill her. Oksana Ivanovna. Do you have a new suspect? She wants to arrest half the city. Ivashko had a falling out with the victim last night, and he has no alibi. He also swallowed one of his cell phone SIM cards when we brought him in. Did you kill her, you bastard? Me? Maybe you did. You threatened her that she'd be next. You threatened her? I didn't threaten her, I warned her. I meant that this psycho could kill anyone. Don't lie, you can't accept that she's not yours anymore. You've been hanging around her all the time. Calm down, come to my office. Come in. You wait in the hallway. Take the folder. Sit down. Do you realize you've set up the whole police force? I was just interviewing her as a witness. And we haven't had a personal relationship in years. Who's gonna believe you now? Especially since neither you nor your boyfriend have an alibi for that night. What do you mean, no alibi? You told me yourself you were at Black Lake half the night apart, which means either you or him could have easily gone to the Deep Lake to kill Irina and come back, or the two of them could have even gone together. All my movements are recorded. Watch this right here. Then I went to check out the tourist lodge. Then I went down to the spring. I came back, I tried to walk slowly and keep quiet. Let's say you didn't leave Black Lake. And what about Petta? Turn the camera on. Please introduce yourself. Am I speaking softly? Should I ask louder? I have nothing to say. Interrogate Shepchuk. I'm not involved. We'll decide who to question. Surname, first name, patronymic? Seriogi Vasilevich Ivashko. I don't like being followed. So I turned off geolocation. Is that a crime? Why don't you go sit in the vestibule and I'll deal with you later? You're making it worse for yourself. If you didn't kill anyone, you better cooperate. I didn't kill anybody. What did you fight about last night? It was nothing. What about it? I wasn't feeling well and wanted to close the restaurant early, and Ira wanted to work till the last customer as usual. You had a health problem and had to go to the hospital? No. I just had a headache. Let's pretend you're suspended. 
and you ask Petter to investigate the case together. If it's him, you'll squeeze the truth out of him. I won't do that. Why not? He trusts you. That's why I won't. I trust him too. Shevchik, you fucked up big time and now you're showing off. Where did you go after the fight with your wife? I drove around town. All night and all night. Imagine that. We'll check your story. It's not a big town. If you've been driving around for a few hours, it's easy to verify. I'm sure there will be witnesses. You spent the night with your mistress. I don't have a mistress. I loved Ira and I never cheated on her. I never laid a finger on her. Ask anyone. You've never thrown cakes before. And you've always been considered an easygoing man. But these last few days, it's like you've been replaced. What happened to you? Nothing. You don't seem to realize the position you're in. One victim is your fiancé. The other is a friend of your wife's. And finally your wife. There's too many facts against you. I don't say anything without a lawyer. So fire me. Can I take the laptop? Have a seat, we'll talk. I'll stand. You found Snezana. Knew where Boris was hiding. No idea where you were the night Irina was killed. Is that a coincidence? Yeah, it happens. Can I take the laptop? No. It happens. I'm gonna go search his apartment. If we don't find anything, we'll have to let him go. Where's their son? The waitress said he took him to his mother's for the vacations. Yes. Just before the first murder. We should go and check it out, see what we can find out. It's 300 kilometers from here. I'll call Pavel Sarjevic. I'll tell him to send someone good over there. There's no time to waste. Suit yourself. By the way, Oksana, you said that someone other than the waitress saw the fight between Irina and Sergei. Who? Kostritskaya's housekeeper. Svetlana Konovalova came into the restaurant for that cake. Oh, I see. I'll check on her while you search the apartment. I'm asking you to wait a week, two weeks at the most. Just a minute. Anna. Hello. Hello. I have good news. All of Peter Chernyshenko's videos have been removed from the internet. Aren't you glad? I'm glad. There's just something going on with the contractor. I don't know what to do anymore. What is it? They're waiting for payroll, and I can't pay them now. He said if I don't pay the construction workers, they'll leave for another project and the construction will be stuck. Don't worry, the problem's fixable. Just a second, Anya. I'll give you the money. 
I don't want to hear anything. Let it be our first contribution to our common cause. I'm uncomfortable. What if the investigation drags on and Grabovsky refuses to invest, and I won't be able to pay you back? Don't worry, it won't take long. The mayoral campaign starts in a week. Mitril Vovic promised me that the killer will testify and the case will be closed. Thank you. Have a good day. Vyacheslav Mikhailovich. Serious I was on the phone outside the restaurant. I was on my way to get a cake. They had such a fight. And when I went into the restaurant, Sergei threw salad greens right into the cake. What time was that? I left the house around 3 p.m., maybe half 4. I walked 15 minutes from the square. I can't tell you exactly. Svetlana Mikhailovna, you've helped a lot already. Anna, Anna, come back. Good afternoon. Anya, this is the assistant investigator. He asked about Ira. Arkady Shulman. Anna Kostritskaya, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Why didn't you offer tea, Svetlana Mikhailovna? I couldn't make up my mind without you. How about some tea? We have excellent Japanese tea. It's a deal. Tea is my weakness. That's my guess. <laughs> Greetings, dear subscribers. As you have already noticed, all the videos about Chinese have disappeared from my channel. And you probably thought it was a mystery. But mysticism has nothing to do with it. Just our kind police chief seized my laptop and deleted all the videos. The thing is, a fourth victim was found in the lake today. And the police announced the arrest of the killer yesterday. And now they're desperate to cover up their failure to classify information about the new victim and the tension to put an innocent man in jail. But the public has a right to know that a killer is on the loose and still killing. That there is panic in the city and city officials continue to stand idly by. Well, you're responsible for this panic. I did. Mom. I promise you, I'm gonna fix this. No more mysticism, just the truth. And who's gonna know the truth? Your 15,000 followers. That's right. We'll use heavy artillery. They say Sergei stole her from her first husband. And they have a child, right? A son. Poor boy. I can't imagine how he'll live after this. Do you have children? We're planning to have children with Maxim, but the construction takes up a lot of time and energy. I understand. Do you regret moving here from the capital? No. We really like it here. Clean air and lakes. We want our children to grow up in an environmentally friendly environment. I see, but Olga Tkacheva believes that your complex will harm the environment. <laughs> that local witch. She's just crazy. How can our complex do any harm? We even conducted an environmental assessment. The tea is delicious. I'm glad you like it. No traces of injection. They simply knocked her unconscious with a blow to the head and drowned her. So it was an imitation after all. Have a seat. Thank you. Seems like it. Wait. But the cuts on the lily stems are very precise. 
just like the previous times. I can assume that it's the same killer. Something just got to him. The police claim they found the killer. I don't understand why he would expose himself again and kill someone. Maybe he's just offended that all the fame went to some junkie instead of him. So he killed again to prove that the police were wrong. Do you think he's obsessed with power and control like the other one? Not necessarily. It could be some loser seeking to punish women for his own failures. For example, Sergei Ibashko. Do you think his wife suspected something and decided to punish him? By the way, I found this in his nightstand. Sleeping pills and tranquilizers, that's what got him. Apparently, it's very recent. The packages are almost full. We should somehow check his SIM card. I'm not sure if that will help. Svetlana Konovalova said that before the argument with Irina. He made a call to someone. It was around 3.15, give or take half an hour. Maybe we can request the mobile operators for a list of calls from that number during that time frame? Galia, what do we have for breakfast? I'm sorry, I got carried away. I wanted to check the news. They promised to tell us about our Chernuzersk, and they still haven't started. And now we have a live broadcast from Chernuzersk. Peter, we're on air. Can you hear me? He made it to the national television. Tell us what's happening in Chernuzersk right now. Women are being found dead in boats on the lakes. Yesterday, the fourth victim was discovered. People are so scared that they're afraid to leave their own homes. I'm currently in the central square. It's usually very crowded here, but as you can see, there's absolutely no one here right now. Tell me, are the police or city authorities taking any measures? None at all. The population is not being informed about the progress of the investigation. Journalists who try to find out anything are being silenced. Instead of searching for the real killer, the investigation is focusing on finding scapegoats. Unfortunately, the police and city authorities are spreading false information and women continue to die. Hold on, breakfast will be ready soon. He's completely lost his conscience. Calm down, in his own way, he's right, no one is working with the population, and that's a serious communication failure. What does that have to do with it? You know perfectly well that I'm not allowed to tell the local residents about the progress of the investigation, especially to journalists like him. Oksana. Is the police spreading false information? I didn't mean you. And where do you think I work? And do you know what the police chief Dmitry Kovo did? I don't care about your arguments. You understand that your actions have devalued the work of dozens of people. What work? Picking up people from the streets and framing them under charges is that what? You're all the same. I looked into your backgrounds. A year ago, you apprehended a serial killer businessman, and somehow the case fell apart in court. It fell apart because he bribed the judges. Oh yeah? Or maybe it's because you didn't have time to tamper with the evidence. What are you doing? Don't forget to record a video of how a police officer attacked you. That's what I'm talking about. I'm sorry, you're a cop. You don't have the right to have such breakdowns. Did you see how he deliberately provoked me? Yes, but it's not about this journalist. It's about the fact that you've forgotten how to communicate with people properly. To you, they're either criminals or witnesses to a crime. You're mistaken. There are still victims. Misha, you wanted these videos to disappear. They've disappeared. Not like this. I thought you would somehow negotiate with him. Why are you pouring me a drink? I'm not allowed. Negotiate with Chernyshenko? Don't make me laugh. 
You find it funny, I don't. You know why? Because I've already invested money in this clinic. If our investor finds out that Chernyshenko has spread rumors on the news. He already knows. Well. Maxim said that if we don't resolve the problem urgently, we can forget about Grabovsky's money. What should we do? I can detain him as another suspect. And everyone will think that you're seeking revenge on him, and the scandal will only worsen. That's true. What should we do then? Communicate with people. Journalists from the capital are coming here. We need to talk to them. Explain the situation. That Peter Chernyshenko distorts the facts. He's fueling hysteria, but in reality, everything is fine. Talk about the progress of the investigation, that there is a real suspect and evidence against her. Do we have evidence? We do. Andrew. Yes? Call these numbers and the others. Oksana, we have a briefing with journalists in 15 minutes. You need to talk to them and tell them about all the evidence we have on Avashko. We don't have the facts. We'll give what we have. It's all about the pitch. You have to prove that Chernyshenko is lying. I'm not Chernyshenko. I won't lie even in good faith. Hello, I'm sorry. Who am I speaking to? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Regional Diagnostic Medical Center. Do you want to take tests or get the results? To take a test. Could I have your address, please? Right now, we have two suspects and we have probable cause to believe they drowned women. What kind of probable cause? They both knew the victims well and killed them for personal reasons. So there's no question of a maniac. And Peter Chernyshenko claims that innocent people have been arrested and the real killer is at large. Chernyshenko is willing to do whatever it takes to get his name out there. How can you comment on his statement that the first suspect, Boris Gurevich, is an unemployed drug addict and confessions were simply beaten out of him? That slander, Chernyshenko will have to answer for it in court. Any other questions? Do you have any? No. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry, but we operate under strict confidentiality. We can't even show our test results to the police. We're talking about serial killings. A maniac is killing girls. I need your help. What do you want to know? Did Sergei Vashko contact you? Let me see. He's not in the database. But a lot of clients take tests anonymously. Did this man come to your clinic? What kind of tests did he take? A paternity test. What was the result? I don't know. Lady. I really don't know. 
When the results are sent to us, they're assigned a registration number. The lab technicians work with those samples. They don't know whose samples they're working with, and I don't know the results. The client receives them in a sealed envelope. How's Boya? Will he not start talking? Absolutely not. I'll be in touch. Bye. Edic. What? Say, I need to teach Peter Chernyshenko a lesson. You got guys who can do that. Depends on how you do it. We found out where you went after the fight with your wife, Sergei Vasilevich. You had to pick up the DNA results. What results? What are you talking about? Paternity. There's no point in denying it. The nurse recognized you. Valor is not your son, right? What do you mean? If the results confirmed your paternity, there'd be no point in hiding your trip. Since you got the results, you realize the boy could be taken away from you and you love him very much. Very much. Why did you decide to do the test now? Did you catch her with her lover? Good morning, Suryaza. How are you? Why weren't you at the party? Hi, I took Valera to my mom's. I just got back. So you missed the whole thing. What did I miss? I've been wondering why Valera doesn't look anything like you. And now it's clear. What are you implying? I'm not hinting. I'm saying it straight out. Ira is cheating on you. Varia. How many times can you get angry? It's been years. Angry? If only with whom? Take a paternity test and you'll see I'm not lying. What holiday did she mean? Ivan Kupala? I'm not a fan of such events. Valera wanted to go to his grandmother's. So you didn't believe Varvara? She was very upset with me when I married Ira. It's clear she was looking for an opportunity to hurt me. How did she convince you then? She didn't. She was dead. You suspected Irina of murder? I didn't know what to think. But she wouldn't have killed Varia. But if her lover was Shevchuk, he might. So you decided to do the test? I hoped until the last moment that it would show that I was the father. After you got the test result, where did you go? I don't remember. It was all a blur. I got out, went to a bar, I had a drink, then I wandered around town, and when they told me Ira had been killed, I knew I was finished. If I told the truth, they'd take my son away and pin the murder on me out of jealousy. Stop trying to get away with it. Ivashko, write a hot folk confession. Otherwise the whole town will know that I gave birth to a son by whom you don't know. And Valera will know what kind of mom he has. Dmitry Yuryevich. How many times can we be nice to him? It's clear that he killed his wife and Volvo so she wouldn't talk so much. And Ludmila, because she knew about the lover and covered fire in Snezona must have known about it. Here, yeah, right. You have an owl for everything. I think Ivashko is innocent. Oksana Ivanovna. Ivashko has a 100% motive and no alibi. Nevertheless, 
I think we should get the police from the region to see if they saw him there the night of the murder. Oksana Ivanovna, I envy you. What do you mean? It seems to me you have a huge salary if you deliberately delay the process. I just want to get to the truth. We need to verify Shevchuk's involvement in the murder. I realize he's your subordinate, but still, Shevchuk definitely didn't kill Irina. Excuse me. Yes, Pavel Sargavik. Greetings, how's it going? Not so far. You asked me to run a background check on a local witch. So? It's done. What if I showed up at your door like that? So you're luring them to the lakes? You're looking in the wrong place. I'm the one who went out to cut the mint. Very convincing. You're an obstetrician gynecologist. You killed a woman in labor and now you've been hiding here under a false name for years. Where did you get the katamin you injected into the victim? I'm saying you're looking in the wrong place. I didn't kill anyone. And the woman in labor was an accident. She shouldn't have given birth. She should have had a C-section. I wasn't her doctor. She was brought in by ambulance. There was nothing I could do. Tell that to the police. Drop the knife and get out. What's going on here? There's a new development in the case, and I need to question her. Sarge, come here. Take her to the interview room. Let's go. What do you suspect her of? Olga had every opportunity to kill our victims. Olga has a medical degree. Two of the four victims were injected with katamin before drowning. I'm pretty sure it was Olga who called the police from Irina's cell phone to report the body. And she's at the lake every night. Not every night. Are you two lovers? Yes, we are. Someone dies in one of the cells. Oh wait, not now, wait. I don't care, I warned you. Open up quickly. Sergei Vasilevic. Sergei Vasilevic. Are you ill? Maybe a heart attack. Shit. I wonder how Olga knew Sergei was dying. Claims she felt it. I'm convinced that Koval personally gave Sergei the sleeping pills, and Olga knew about it and decided to interfere, maybe to avert suspicion or a guilty conscience, or to prove to us once again that she's a clairvoyant. Yeah, that would be a great way out for Koval, a murderer caught, desperate enough to kill himself, and the case is closed. All right, let's go to dinner. Besides, even if Sergei wakes up tonight, you won't be allowed to question him. Let's go. All right, I'll take you to the Sodnitsa. Will you go swimming again, Oksana? I won't be long. Let's go.
Oksana, are you going to drive there at night? Are you out of your mind? Pavel Sargevic, I'm asking you very much. We're treading water, and the intervals between murders are getting shorter. The killer could attack again at any moment. I'm convinced you'll get a permit. Thank you. Oh. In this one too. Are you sure? I've been waiting for you, my girl. Did you know I was coming? Of course I did. I've been keeping an eye on your life. You catch serial killers. Who do you have a problem with, the Strangler? A child abductor? The dead lilies of Chernozer's case, that's right. You'd never get past the drownings. Where do you get your information on all these cases? You've changed. You're not that enthusiastic girl anymore, you're tougher. The Western School of Profiling provides many effective tools for the job, whether in forensics, security, or business. But it should be borne in mind that the direct transfer of Western methods to our soil may not yield results because of cultural differences, differences in mentality. That is why we are developing a methodology of profiling adapted to our conditions. Ask. And do you use the tables for searching for serial criminals, or is it outdated as well? That's a good question. Are you a journalist? I'm with the investigative division. I'm a trainee. I think profiling is quackery. Typing only works well for regular people, and every serial killer is unique. Are you in law enforcement, too? No. I'm a psychologist, I'm writing my dissertation on criminal personality. Colleague, let me disagree with you because every person is unique and at the same time typical. And the absence of moral constraints does not make one superhuman. That's exactly right, that's right. You killed that girl. Don't exaggerate. I took pity on you and let you go. Did you let me go? Did you get some rest? My girl. Yeah. 
We're going for a swim. If there wasn't a boat passing by, we wouldn't be having this conversation. How you felt on the brink of life and death. You're gonna get caught, you bastard. Wrong answer. Can't fish here. If I wanted to drown you, I would have. Believe me. And the other victims. You didn't spare any. They're all different. You're special. They'd break right away. They begged for mercy. They wished for a quick death, and you endured. Remember when I sewed up your wound. You bit your lip to keep from screaming and then how you were tearing up in pain when you were drowning in the water. That's enough. I've been over it for a long time and I've forgotten it. I'm here to make an offer. You tell me everything you know about the dead lilies and you'll get better prison treatment. You and I have been through so much together And you still haven't realized that the suffering of the body means nothing to me. We've looked death in the eye together. Just from different angles. Do you dream about me? No. Then I dream. You'll never forget what happened between us. I'll always be the most important man in your life. Don't get your hopes up. You'll never solve this case without me. I will. You'll calm down and come back. Pedia? Why aren't you sleeping? How can I sleep when you're not here? What are you hiding? Nothing, Mom. What is it? Who did this? No one. Who did this? I say nobody. I'm calling the police. The police are the ones to blame. What? What the hell is going on? She felt fine. She was just going somewhere, probably to the lake. But she hasn't called us since. She even turned off her cell phone. So here she comes. Who? Oksana. Oksana. Wrap it up. Tell me where you've been. 
I had business to attend to. Why? What business? You went to the lake and disappeared. We didn't know what to think anymore. Arkady Lvovic was so nervous. He got me up in the middle of the night and made me call the entire city police. I'm sorry, my phone's dead. Don't you want to apologize to my guys? They're still poking around the lake looking for your supposed corpse. I apologize. I didn't mean for it to come out like that. Yes, Jenna, don't let Ivashko's mother in. I'll take care of it. I'll be right there. What's going on with Ivashko? Is he alive? In the hospital? Yes. He came to his senses. Wait, did you go to see him? I don't know what you're talking about. Hello? Hello, Pavel Sargevic. Oksana, she's driving right away. Oksana, where did you disappear to? How did your meeting with Pavlovsky end? On nothing. He tried to sell himself on the idea that we can't do this without his help. I told you right away you were wasting your time. Pavel Sargevic, we need to transfer him to another colony. He's too well informed. I have a suspicion that he's in cahoots with one of the wardens. All right, let's check it out. Any news on the investigation? Not yet. If there is, I'll let you know. Okay, I'll be in touch. Arkady Lvovic, I apologize for not warning you, it was a spontaneous decision. Besides, you would have started to talk me out of it. Of course I would have. You wanted to see if he was connected to our serial, and he turned the conversation to ten years ago, did he? Look, Oksana, he's trying to convince you that we're both nothing and he's a genius. And if that's true? He's not a genius, he's just a psycho with a high IQ. It's okay. We'll find that serial killer. What are you doing here? Also trying to get through to Ivashko. I'm here to write a statement. I was beaten up. Who did that to you? Don't you know? I'll file a report and watch you look for the people you hired. I didn't hire anyone. You must have gotten a little too hot in the sun. Take it easy, Pyotr. What makes you think Dmitry Yuryevich sent someone? Maybe I don't understand something. Are you behind the attack? Who attacked you and where? Specific details. Fuck you. If he's not lying, we need to find out who did this. Chernyshenko lies all the time. Probably he got in a fight over some broad or gave himself a black eye. We have to make a scandal out of it somehow. The situation in the city is such that we have to find those who attacked the journalist. We will. I'll put my best people on it. It doesn't look like Peter staged the attack on himself. He's too naturally outraged. I noticed that too. Let's go. Why won't they let me see my son? Because your son is a felony suspect. So no visitation. I'm sure he didn't kill Ira. Why not? A mother's heart. Hello. Hello. I'm Oksana Bilea, investigator. Tell me, was Sergei at your place the night of the murder? The police came to see you. You said you hadn't seen Sergei for a long time. I got confused. I was confused. Do you realize what you're doing now? You're trying to create an alibi for the killer. That's a felony. I'm not lying. I really had him. He just left yesterday. You lied to the police. Why? What's the point of hiding it if you really had him? Hi, I'm Oksana. I'm Valeria. 
Tell me, did daddy come to visit you and grandma? Yes. When? The day before yesterday. No court will accept a child's word as evidence. Wait a minute. Tell me, what have you been doing? Did you talk about anything? Daddy asked if he and mommy couldn't be together anymore. Who would I want to live with him or her? And what did you say? With dad. He loves me more and doesn't scold me. Dad was happy. He got up and went to the balcony, and when he came back, he said that if that's the case, you're far away from me. Thank you. Let them see Sarioga. Let them in. Thank you. Keep an eye on them. She's not lying. Why not? Grandma could have put her grandson up to it. Why didn't she just tell the whole truth if she had nothing to hide? Because at the time, she didn't know her son was accused of murder, and she had something to hide. Sergei was trying to take the boy away, and she was trying to help him. Since the biological father isn't Ivashko, it's practically kidnapping, and she and her son knew it. Why did he come back to Chernuzesk? To collect his belongings, documents and money. We interrogate them. They'll tell us everything. There's something else that concerns me now. Daddy, when are you getting discharged? Soon. Excuse me. I need to ask Sergei Vasilevich a few questions. It won't take long, then you can come back. Valera, let's go. I'm staying with Dad. Dad needs an injection. Go on. We'll come back later. Go, Valera. Go, go, go. Tell me, who gave you the sleeping pills? Dmitry Yuryevic? No. Who did? No one. The bottle was in my pants pocket. You were searched. They didn't see it. I don't understand. How can you defend the man who almost cost you your life? Who interviewed you about the beating? Some captain, half bald, skinny. It's Drushkovsky. He's about to retire. I take it no one's going to investigate my beating. That's great. What about you? You got anything on the murder? Uh, not yet. But I have an idea. What if Ira was killed because she figured out who the killer was? What makes you think that? I interviewed her after Lucy's death and she was clearly hiding something. I interviewed Tanya today. The waitress? Yeah, says that the night before she died, Ira closed the restaurant early. And if she was in a hurry to meet someone. Oh, uh, hold on, her cell phone was traced. Did you find out who called her that night? Yeah, they didn't find anything. Killer probably communicated with her through an app and then deleted it. That's the way it is. It sucks. Come on, let's go. Here's what I was thinking. Sergei and Valera are very attached to each other. If Sergei would have returned to Chernuzers immediately after the test, then I could allow the murder of Irina was in a state of effect. 
but after he spent the night at the mother and son's house, that's out of the question, emotions have subsided, and the possibility of being with his son and the welfare of the child is much more important to him than punishing his wife for treason. Dmitry Yurievich, I believe that Valera's real father could be the killer and, in general, the serial killer we're looking for, take a look for yourself. Varvar knew about him, told Sergei, and was killed. Ludmila was her best friend, so it's entirely possible that she was also aware, also murdered. Irina herself is murdered. I don't understand why her lover would kill her. I assume she suspected him, threatened to expose him, so he had to eliminate her. Let's say, and the first victim, the sales girl. I don't know yet. We need Shevchuk to take a paternity test. What do you need Shevchuk for? I told you, he's got an alibi. You mean he was with Chernyshenko all night at the lake? Can you vouch for the fact that he didn't give his cell phone to Piotr to cover for him, and that he didn't go to Irina and kill her? I can't vouch for that. But Irina's lover could have been anyone. We'll work on that theory. You check Shevchuk and see if he went to see Sergei. Oksana of Anvona. Did you just give me an assignment? I'm the one who's bringing you up to speed. I can't give orders to your employees. Wait, this is Iron Saji's entryway. Why did we come here? You'll stand watch, I'm going inside. Maybe we missed something important when we searched the apartment. Are you crazy? What if we get caught? You'll be watching closely, right? Yes, Mitri Yurievic. Shevchik, drive up to the city hospital. I have a case. Okay. Did Kovo call? Yes. What did he want? I'll go and find out. Upstairs, downstairs. Did you know we can't do this test in Chernuzesk? I know. Here's the address of the regional center. We'd better do a rapid test. It'll be ready in three days. A regular one takes about two weeks. Yes. What do they want? Money. Tell your fighters that they need to be killed for such a job like this. Why the hell did they break his face? They should have hit him where it didn't leave a mark. Do I have to teach you? Tell them to get out of town? He filed a report. What do you think? I'm gonna have to deal with this. We have to talk with you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You got back up? This is Professor Shulman. He's helping me with my investigation. Arkady Lvovic, nice to meet you. Olga Nikolaevna, likewise. Tell us at once how you found out that Ivashko was dying, or I'll have you arrested and no lover will help you. I already told you. I didn't find out. I felt it. Stop messing with my head. Oksana, one minute. Olga Nikolaevna, let's be honest. Oksana and I don't believe in supernatural things. There's a much simpler explanation. You're quite empathic, even though you pretend to be a sociopath, and your ability to tap into other people's feelings helps you a lot in your work. Moving on, you're very familiar with the entire population. Not just on the outside, but on the inside. They come to you with their problems, don't they? 
let's say. When Oksana brought you to the police building, you saw one of your clients, and you could tell from his face that he was distraught. And since he was connected to Ivashko, you knew Sergei was in danger, am I right? Not bad. Arkady Lvovic, why do you need my answers if you know everything? <laughs> Unfortunately, not everything. You see, almost all the police officers you could see in the building, on the stairs, in the corridors, are under suspicion. Olga Nikolaevna, help us save time, please. I will. But only to you personally. Come in. I had nothing with Ira after my divorce. Valera was born three years after that. How can he be my son? Then why are you freaking out? If he's not yours, the test won't hurt you. I'm not going to grovel like this. And I'm not going to ask you to. That's an order. Is that an order? What's this circus for? It's Belir suggesting that the real father is our serial killer. Tell me, did Ira have an affair after the divorce or before? What are you so hung up on? You remember something. No, I have no idea. Let's go. Let's get a sample of your saliva. The kids already had one. It won't hurt. Let's go. Well, Oksana, congratulations. We played the role of good and bad investigator very well, so it wasn't hard to get Olga to talk. You're very popular with women of balsamic age. Are you being sarcastic? That's good. It means your psychotrauma hasn't gotten to you. So you want to know what Olga said? I do. Well, here's the thing Olga said, or rather she's sure, that Andrei gave Sergei the sleeping pills. Andrei from the investigation team. Why did Dmitry make him do it? No, it's a personal story. Let's go. Finally, what did he want? The usual bullshit. That's what I thought. Let's go check out Ivashko's apartment, shall we? No, I have another idea. We should try it. What is it? I'll tell you later, in case it doesn't work. I don't get it. Do you want to do it yourself? Well, you tell Oksana everything you want to know. Who have I ever told what to? I understand. You don't want to share the glory? Bye. We'll see who catches the killer first. I got an idea too. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How did you sleep? Fine, why? Any nightmares? I don't get it. Do you get it now? When did you and Irina start having a relationship? Three years ago. I was working late. And I saw her closing the restaurant. I'm thinking it's night time. It's too late for her to come home alone. Where was Sergei? He took the kid to his mom's. He takes him every summer. Okay, what's next? He offered her a ride. So? So you've been seeing each other secretly for three years? No. About two. 
Then she... Anyway, she said we should break up. Why? She said I should look for someone younger. What did you tell Sergei? That he's an asshole. That he didn't deserve her. And that she didn't even love him. She despised him. And for what he did to her, he should be dead. He didn't kill her. Then why did he take the pills if he didn't kill her? Imagine, Andre, that your son is probably from another man. And it's unclear how long your wife cheated on you. And then there's a young lover with his advances and revelations. So he couldn't take it anymore. Did you know she had another lover before you? No. Good evening. Are you busy? Enaka, I'm always free for you, tea, coffee. Grabovsky's on his way to see us. He decided to see for himself what's going on in Chernyuzersk. That's wonderful. No, it's not good. He'll come and there won't be a soul on the street in our town. He'll say, guys, I won't pay off my complex in a thousand years. He'll turn around and leave. Anya, I can't force people out on the street. I understand. They're all afraid. I'm afraid to. But if we could organize some kind of festival or mass celebration, like we did on Ivan Kupala, we could certainly have security around the lake to make people feel safe, but without Grubovsky noticing. With all due respect to you and Maxim, but this idea... It's crazy. I know it is. It's desperate. I don't know what else to think of. I just don't know. Forget it. I'm sorry to bother you. I'm sorry. Hold on. You know, I was thinking that this idea of yours isn't crazy at all. Oksana, about Andre, I wouldn't put him on the list of suspects. Our serial killer is experienced and a good judge of character, and Andre is impulsive and emotional. A boy who doesn't believe in himself. But we need to take him out of our group, Arkady Lvovic. You should probably go, Galina Semyonovna is waiting for you. Are you going to the lake again, so, you'll have dinner, take a sedative, and go to bed? I'll be quick. No. Either you go to a hotel, or I'll pack up and go home. Why didn't you tell me about Andre? Because you didn't ask. Then you should have kept quiet. Why did you tell Oksana everything? Dima, tone it down. Have you forgotten what you owe me? How many years have you been blackmailing me to expose me? I'm sick of it. That's it. It doesn't work anymore. Now you need me more than I need you. 
So stop blackmailing me. How many times do I have to ask you to wipe your feet when you come in my house? I'll take a bun. I don't want it. Eat it. I'm eating. What's this? Who's it from? According to the address, it's from Dead Lilies, the same person who sent the anonymous letter. I'll get some tea. Go ahead. Oksana, are you okay? Oksana. I'm coming. Just a moment. Good morning. Good morning. It's already 10 o'clock, you know. What? 10 o'clock, isn't it time for us to go to work? I'll wash up and then we'll go. Are you feeling sick? Or did you have nightmares again? Speak louder. I'm sorry. Maybe we should take a day off? I spent the whole morning with Galena. And we not in that sense. I listened to a lot of stories about the residents of this town. It was quite hilarious, and we even found a couple more candidates for Irina's lovers. We should have started with that. What? We should have started with that. Well, yeah. Civilian clothing, focus on the shore. Pretend to be strolling citizens. Don't attract attention to ourselves. Is that clear? Understood. You're free to go. Dmitry Yuryevich, sorry for interrupting. Are you planning an event? Not me, the town is planning it. The summer fair. We need to provide security. When and where will it take place? Tomorrow at the Pacific Lake. Oksana, sorry, I took your seat. It's all right. Have they suspended you? Yes, there will be an internal investigation. And where are you going? To the mayor. He wants to organize a fair with cheap products and a concert. I don't understand him. Does he have low ratings or why did he need this? If anything, it was Anna Kostritskaya who pressured him. What does she have to do with this? Her husband is bringing some major investor. They want to distract him so that he invests in their complex. That's all. How do you know that? My sister is friends with Kostritskaya's secretary. Tatiana, take care. Good day. I need to talk to you. It won't take long. Good day, Oksana. Have a seat. Thank you. Let's get straight to the point. The fair needs to be cancelled. That's a question for the mayor. They say that the initiative is coming from you. And that it was you who convinced the mayor. That's not true. Mikhail Borisovic is personally interested in normalizing the atmosphere in the town. It's hard for people to live in constant stress. 
In that case, wouldn't it be more appropriate to hold the fair in the central square? That way, it won't take place near the lake where the killer can strike at any moment. Oksana, you probably don't understand the local specifics. The thing is, even if we move the fair to another location, people will still go to the Pacific Lake in the evening. It's a tradition. I don't understand why we should spread the police force then when we can control just one recreational area. And who will be responsible if something happens? You, Mikhail Borisovic. But nothing will happen. Dmitry Yuryevic guarantees the full safety of the event. But realistically, the police cannot ensure complete safety. Oksana, I'm sorry, but that question is really not for me. Terezhuk has always been a showman and a populist, and the people fall for it. That's why he's been our immortal mayor for so many years. Petya. Oh my god, what is this? Hello. Hello. What are you planning? Why do you need a scuba diving suit? It's not hard to guess. Petr, what are you planning to look for down there? The source of the wandering lights. Don't you have anything better to do? Nope. And why did you come? I haven't done anything illegal yet. We need your help. Didn't catch that? Help. Help? Well, well, mum, she needs help. Let's go. The maniac hasn't been caught yet. That's why he can attack any of you. I urge all residents of Chernyuzersk. What? Everyone accuses me of spreading panic, and now you're making it even worse. Listen. Let's have few scary stories and more arguments. And let's be a bit more humane. Shall we go one, two, three? Wait, just a second. Let's hide this. The viewers don't need to see it. It keeps sticking out all the time. I'll fix your hair. Yes. No, stand in my place. I'll show you. Stand like this. Yes. We're not at a parade. Smile. A smile makes us more natural and appeals to the viewers. Dear residents of Chernyuzersk, I appeal to you with a request, please help us to help you. Do not expose yourself to rash risks. And then we will do everything we can to catch the killer as quickly as possible. And cut. That's great. Now that's good. Hugh, oh my god. I think I've created my own competition. Have you thought about getting a channel? Oh, okay. I got to run. When can you post the video? Right now, I'll run home and post it. Uh, thank you. Dmitry Yuryevic, hello. Hello. Have you seen this? Don't come to the fair or demand that it be moved to a safe place. I saw it, but we don't have many people subscribed to Chernyshenko's channel. You shouldn't think so. My girls already got a call telling them not to go to the fair. And I, Alexandrovna, Belay is not my subordinate. I don't know what we can do against her. I do. I'll show people by example that they have nothing to fear. A maniac attacks at night and there are no evil forces. See you at the fair.
Mom, why are you calling? Pedia, are you coming home soon? One more dive and that's it. It'll be dark soon. Don't worry, I'll call you as soon as I get out. What will you see there? Kisses. Thank you. Girls, are you ready? Yeah, get it on camera. Anna Alexandrovna, hold on, your housekeeper Svetlana Mikhailovna called. She's very worried, and I agree with her. This risk is not justified, so please come out. Svetlana Mikhailovna is an alarmist. I thank you for your concern, but I'm not risking anything. Sergeant, push the boat. I thought Tarasiak was a show-off. I was afraid that she'd show miracles of heroism alone. Only you swim alone. There are no other crazy people in this town. I'm sick of this show. Let's go to dinner. Help. I'm drowning. Help me. Help push the boat away. Call the duty officer. Get all our officers down here, now. The killer could be anywhere. We'll lose him. Why is there only one sergeant among your men? Who knew he would attack in front of everyone? Damn maniac. We won't miss him. Swim to the boat. Come on, come on, just a little more. I got you, I got you, it's okay. Anna Alexandrovna, who was that? Who attacked you? Anna. Don't, she's in shock. He was wearing a mask. Masked, a scuba diver. Seal off the perimeter of the lake, search the area. Let me take her. I'll take her, stay here, find the scuba diver. Hold on, did you have another panic attack? What makes you think that? You're breathing like someone's chasing you, your heart rates off the charts. I just had to take a deep dive, I'm still out of breath, it's okay. Oksana, Oksana. I'd assumed our killer was a hysteroid, but to be so pronounced. What makes you think he's hysteroid? First of all, he's looking for any way he can to get attention. Decorating the bodies of murdered women with water lilies is very demonstrative. And today's attack is over the top, in front of everyone. At great risk to the cops, it's... Why did you call Petter? Well, you just described his psychotic. Our Petter is probably hyperthemic. He's always positive, self-confident. 
acts erratically. But you didn't call him just because I profiled him, did you? He bought a scuba tank today, said he wanted to find the source of the wandering lights. I knew right away he was lying. I didn't have time to look into it. I should have written down the message right away. You think he's the one who attacked Anna? I don't know. We need to find him and get the truth out of him. I doubt there's only one scuba tank in Chernusers. Yeah, maybe there's more than one. It's just that it's highly suspicious. I just assumed he was a normal person. Calm down, drive carefully. Oh my god, Anya, will she live? Of course, we'll close the wound and everything will be fine. Who did this? I didn't see. He was in a scuba tank. That's as far as you can go. Dmitry Yuryevich, you personally guaranteed safety. You must find him. I will. Let's go. Dmitry Yuryevich, wait, you have to see this. Is that Chernyshenko's channel? Yes, he just wanted to go scuba diving today. Pedia, I'm all nervous. Oksana, it's so good of you to come. Come in. Hello, Vera Pavlovna. This is my assistant, Arkady Lvovic. Isn't Pedia home? Pedia is missing. He went to the Black Lake. He should have been back by now. His phone's off. I told him not to respond to that anonymous tip. What anonymous tip? He got an email. Tell me, what was in the email? Give me an approximation. Try to remember the details. It'll help the investigation. I remember verbatim. You were looking in the wrong place. The answer is underwater, not on the shore. There was a map of Black Lake and three markers. We should call the police. I'm really worried. Pesha's in trouble. All the police are at Pacific Lake. Anna Kostritskaya was attacked there. Is she all right? Yeah. We got her out in time. Let's go to Black Lake. I'll go with you. How these two work together? I'll call the capital. Tell them to recall Belay to the hell. Oh, here's who we need. Petr. Good evening. Did your mom call you? What are you doing? Where's your scuba tank? Stolen. Oh, yeah. I was attacked at the lake. They hit me in the head, and while I was passed out, they stole it. Along with my phone. You didn't see your attackers, did you? I didn't. What are you so happy about, Dmitry Yoyevich? You're Chernyshenko. You're a man of celebration. Let's go for a ride. What are you doing? Let's go. I'll tell you everything. Wait, wait. What's going on? What's going on? They haven't told you yet. Some asshole in a scuba tank almost killed Anna Kostritskaya. What's he got to do with it? He was on Black Lake, and Anna was attacked on Pacific Lake. I was attacked too. I don't remember how long I was unconscious. If you want, you can do a medical examination. What else do you want me to do? Dmitry Yuryevich. Pyotr has every right to it. And the presumption of innocence has not been abolished. Let's go to the hospital. Jesus, Pedia. Let's go, Mum. No fracture or fracture of the skull bones. There's a hematoma here in the occipital region. So there was a blow to the head. Well, maybe he tripped and fell, hit the back of his head. I didn't trip and fall. It's probably a blow. If he fell backwards, the injury would be more severe. Could he have gotten that injury in a fight? I wasn't in a fight. Theoretically, maybe. If the fighters were rolling around on the ground and Peters had hit the ground hard. 
Then he'd have fresh beatings and abrasions on his head and body. I don't see any, except for the ones Piotr came in with yesterday. Either way, a chunk of hair was torn out, which is probably from a fight. I repeat, I did not fight with anyone. What's up? How is Anna Alexandrovna? The wound was stitched up. Painkiller injected. She's sleeping. So why are you still here? Go home and rest. What if she needs something? I can't stay at home. I'm more comfortable here with her. Svetlana Mikhailovna, everything will be all right, don't worry, the doctors said it's not life-threatening. Well, it's not, but when I think that she could have been killed, is there any way to determine what time he was struck? Within the last 24 hours, I can't be more specific. Okay, get up, let's go. You're not going to question him like this, are you? Yes, I am. Is that him? He attacked Anya. We don't know anything yet. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow. You don't have any witnesses who can confirm that you were Black Lake? No. Listen to me. I'm not an idiot. If I was planning on killing Anna, would I discuss my dive on the internet? You're an arrogant asshole. You've gotten away with the previous martyrs. So you've got your ass in gear. I didn't. What do you think? A hysteroid could have been defiantly announcing his upcoming dive, yes. And then there's no way to prove whether you were on the Black Lake or the Pacific Lake. Yeah. I can't go that far wrong in my typing. And he's not acting like a hysteroid right now. He'd be feeling sorry for himself and telling me how bad he feels. Although... What? Did you say he wanted to be an actor? Look. I've been attacked twice in the last three days. If I were you, I'd be hiccuping whoever did it, not pinning murders on me. Although, oh, who am I talking to? The police attacked you, beat you up, robbed you. Maybe I did it myself, Chernyshenko. You think you're the smartest. You hear me? Who am I to you? A fangirl? Why are you messing with my head? Let's go to Black Lake. Show me where you've been, come on. What's up? Here, are you scared? Come on, let's go. You'll get some air and everything will pass. Dmitry Yuryevich, let him in. There is no point in going to the lake at night. We'll check everything in the morning. Now we gotta get to the evidence on Kostritskaya. Yes, and Pyotr needs bed rest. 
He's got a concussion. This is no joke. Let's do it. Protect the perp. Let's go outside and talk, Dmitry Yurievich. Come on, Oksana Ivanovna, let's go outside. Pyotr, look at me please, so. Even if it's the one we're looking for, we have no right to interrogate him in such a state. It's not an investigation, it's torture. Are you going to suggest we let him go? Do we have anything to charge him with besides a scuba diver? Any defense attorney will crush this case in court. We'll have something to charge him with if you stop defending Chernyshenko. I'm not favoring him. What are you doing, sleeping with him? Stop judging everyone by themselves. I insist on hospitalization could be a brain hemorrhage. That you made a tragedy out of a little bump on the head. This Chernyshenko is an actor. Dmitry Yurievich, I have a medical degree and I know that he needs bed rest. At least a couple days. He'll lie down in a cell. Why? Put him in a hospital room, provide guards and he won't run away. Why don't we send him to a spa? Dmitry Yurievich, we found it. Where? On Pacific Lake on the opposite side, in the backwoods. And here's the evidence, well done. Is it yours? Mine. PDY was arrested. Arrested. How does he feel? It's not important. I gave him some medicine. Arkady Lvovic, Oksana. Pedia is innocent. Vera Pavlovna, you're the mother, according to this. I am not objective, I know, but as a teacher with 30 years of experience, I can look at everything from the outside. Petta is a cynic and a troublemaker, but only on the surface. In fact, he's a very kind and sympathetic person. When I had health problems, he quit his job and left the capital to look after me. Yes, I'm a family, but he's always helped strangers too. Yes. You will say that many maniacs look like decent people. You have no idea how much. I mean, you also think that. It's not clear yet. We'll find out. Let us give you a ride home. All right. Uh -huh. Vera Pavlovna. We're on our way to your place. Here's the search warrant. Please get in our car.
Oh God. Don't pretend. You're just getting home at this time. Oh, good. Oh, God. Tell me. Did Belay came to see you only on business or personal matters too? What exactly are you interested in? I'm just curious what she has with Piocha. We haven't discussed it. Well, you can see that. Are they having an affair? Not yet. Will they? We'll see. Petr aren't ready for her yet. I don't understand. What do you mean? Your back doesn't hurt. Your head doesn't hurt either. I want to sleep. Go home. Wait. I want to, too. Won't they look for you at home? No, they won't. It's a nice breakfast. By the way, I wanted to ask you, Oksana, do you need me much in the morning? Would you like to stay here and rest? No, I want to go to the hospital, talk to Anna, or maybe you want to talk to her first. I think it's better if you talk to her first, and stop by Sarji's, ask him, you remember? Yes. This is for you. Thank you. It's very good juice, thank you. You like it? Very much. Let me put it in a thermos so you can take it to work. No need, why all this trouble? Arkady Lvovic, what trouble? It's my pleasure. I'll go with Pyotr to the Black Lake, let him show me where he's been. He wasn't there, Tamara called this morning, you know her? Yes. The road to Black Lake goes past her house, she was in the yard all day yesterday and didn't see Petr. Let me give you a cake to go with your juice. Cake? Yes, chocolate, you like it, don't you? Yes. Yes. Dmitry Yurievich. Yurievich has escaped. Escaped how? Just like that. I came to replace San Sanik in the morning and he was nowhere to be found. I went to look for him. I looked through the cells and found him in Yurievich's cell. But Yurievich wasn't there. What happened? We've had an emergency. You prepared for it properly. What are you talking about? You were awake and waiting for the call. You weren't surprised when Gurevich ran away. You acted surprised. But it was you who organized the escape, wasn't it? You're my psychic.
This is where I was diving last night. Let's go. Need a hand? No, I'm fine. I'm surprised the chief didn't show up. It's pretty clear by now, what's he doing here? Take a look around. What's there to look for, yesterday? You don't know how to inspect a crime scene. Look for everything, footprints, any public objects. Move from the periphery to the center, 20 meter radius. Let's go. Tell me, how did this happen? I got ashore here. Took off my mask. Went to my stuff to get my phone to call my mom. Took the phone, sat down. Well, mum, mum. And the next thing I knew, I was hit. So you fell somewhere over here? I don't remember, I blacked out. Anna Alexandrovna, I'm going to draw a pencil in front of your face and you will follow it and tell me what happened. Okay. Okay, what's the pencil for? Are you going to hypnotize me? <laughs> no, I don't practice hypnosis. What we're going to do now is called desensitization. It's about working through trauma with eye movement. It's often used in the treatment of post-traumatic stress disorder. Shall we begin? Uh, okay. How did all this happen? I swam to the middle of the lake. And as soon as I decided to turn around and swim back... Hush! Hush! Honey! Hush! You're safe. Just keep going. Don't forget to watch your pencil. I will. I didn't realize what had happened, but... Uh, I was dragged off the boat in the water. I was really scared. He started pulling me to the bottom. Did you get a good look at him? No, he was wearing a mask. I tried to get away. He was stronger than me. I'm sorry. I can't. Come on, calm down. It's okay, you're safe. I feel like I'm choking again. Can we continue this later, please? Come on, Anna Alexandrovna. You're doing the right thing. We'll continue. And in a few minutes it will pass, believe me. I'm sorry. It's all right. Good afternoon. I told you to leave us alone. I'll just be a minute. Dmitry Yurevich asked me to ask a question when she wakes up. Was the attacker in her? Yes. I think so. What's wrong with you? Your face has changed. No evidence was found. Were there a lot of vacationers here before? Not as many as on the central beach, but enough before the attacks on women.
He said he had a headache, asked me to get him some painkillers, I did. As soon as I opened the cell, he hit me on the head, I passed out. When I woke up, I was tied up with a gag in my mouth. Why didn't you call for help when you woke up? Who? Everybody went to Pacific Lake to catch a scuba diver. How'd he get past the gods? He went down the fire escape. The lock's broken. Do you realize what you've done? We're all going to trial for negligence. What's that got to do with me? I just came on ship. Get some men to him right away. I already did. There was no one there. Where are we gonna find him now? Chernyshenko is a murderer. Come here. Take your hands off him. We'll judge him ourselves. Vigilante justice is a criminal offense. She's protecting a murderer. He's not a murderer yet. He's still a suspect. Fuck you. Everybody freeze. Get in the car. Murderer. Lock the doors and back up. Murderer, goddamn you jerk. Murderer, I wish you were dead. Thank you. You're welcome. Why didn't you do anything? We'll be right there and you'll have to write a report. Were we supposed to shoot at our own people? Why should we protect him? He killed people to be a star. Let him get his ass kicked. More. I realize, Sergei Vasilevic, that this topic is painful for you, but try to understand and answer me. Who else do you think could have been Irina's lover besides Vitaly? And the father of her son, biological. Did you notice at the restaurant who Irina socialized more closely with? Look, get out of here. Ira, are you stupid? I hadn't noticed. I'm in the kitchen all day and she's in the hall. Could have been anyone. Anyone. Excuse me. Dmitry Yurievich, the locals almost lynched Pyotr, and your subordinates sat and watched. Oksana Ivanovna, we have enough problems without Chernyshenko. Yurievich escaped. When? Last night, exactly when Chernyshenko attacked Kostritskaya. Interesting coincidence. It hasn't been proven that Chernyshenko was the attacker. Enough already. I told you a long time ago they're connected. You didn't want to believe it. Yurievich wasn't intellectual enough for a maniac. It's clear now that Chernyshenko was their main man. It all adds up. Oksana Ivanovna. Who set you up? Peter, if you don't cooperate with me, I can't help you. I thought you'd agree that the setup was organized very professionally. And who in our city has such capabilities but Dmitry Yurievich? The entire police force is under him. He's capable of anything. Well, you weren't thinking about him at the lake. I was. That's not true. There's someone else who could be behind this. But you can't even think about that. 
is it Shevchuk? Vitelli used to be a scuba diver too, and he has a scuba tank too. I wanted to ask him for one, but Vitelli didn't return my calls. You two had a fight. About what? He wasn't himself after the paternity test. No. But he was obviously up to something and didn't want to tell me. Right. Listen to me. I don't believe that Vitaly could do this to me. Most people live like that and don't believe that anything terrible could happen to them, but it happened. Oksana, I'm sorry, I sat in your seat. You can sit. How's it going? Did you find anything at Black Lake? Other than some branches that Piotr might have fallen into, nothing. What about you? I have more interesting news. Anna recognized Piotr's mask. Only she was only brought in to identify one piece. A breach of procedure. Exactly. The item to be identified is presented in a minimum of three identical items. Eddie, come here. How could he escape? What did you want with that junkie? I took him to the cottage, locked him up, he slept in, he ate, and he wanted adventure. Holy shit. What? Why did you help him break out of jail? He could have stayed in his cell and not caused us any trouble. And you don't understand anything at all? The women were attacked by Chernyshenko. That means Gurevich had nothing to do with it. He should be transferred to the region. He's on a drug case there. Understand. In a couple days, he'll go into withdrawal, and he'll turn us in for the dope. Well, he could turn us in if he gets caught. Exactly. What are we gonna do? Not us. You, you're gonna look for him. Just me? Yes, you're alone. I'll start the search too, so there's no question. But you realize what happens if my guys find him before your guys do? Go find him. Hello, I'm Vitaly's colleague. I'm ringing his doorbell. No one answers. Do you know where he is? How long have you seen him? I didn't see him yesterday. Probably the day before yesterday, too. Uh, no, I saw him the day before yesterday afternoon. I was coming back from the store and he was coming out of the house. Did you notice anything strange? He usually says hello. He asks how you're doing. He just walked by and didn't see me. That's interesting. Tell me. Did he come empty-handed? Empty. Thank you. Goodbye. Did you know Shevchuk has a scuba tank? Vitaly's? Yes, Vitaly. Where from? He was a scuba diver. You know your employees well, Dmitry Yurievich. 
Are you ready to make a baseless accusation? Anything, Oksana Ivanovna, you're ready to do to divert suspicion from Chernyshenko. I don't ignore the facts like you do. You know that Shevchuk hasn't been home for two days and doesn't answer the phone. He's on vacation. He could have gone fishing and turned off his phone. He could have run away. He could have framed Chernyshenko beforehand. The paternity test results are due tomorrow. What if Shevchuk knew them in advance? That's what we'll talk about tomorrow and about Chernyshenko. Kostitsky recognized his mask. What more proof do you need? I think Kostritskaya was in such a state that she would have recognized any diver's mask. It's not like she was given multiple masks to identify. I'll be sure to bring that up in court. The trial has already taken place. The measure of restraint is two months in custody. Why didn't you tell me when the trial was? Oksana Ivanovna, I'm not your secretary. I have to go. We're looking for Girevich. Dmitry Yurievich, the cellular operator provided the location of Shevchuk's cell phone. Apparently, he is fishing on Black Lake, and this is not far from the place where Pyotr Chernyshenko was attacked. You're gonna keep pretending everything's okay. Are these the coordinates? Yes. All right, I'll send some men over there. I'm not done yet. First, we need to warn them he's armed. Second, we need to search his apartment immediately. Without authorization and a prosecutor? As I recall, you don't have a problem with that. We're on our way in five minutes. I'm listening. Where? Where is he? Keep looking. Found the phone. No chef check yet. I found this in the closet. It's so dusty. Write it in the report. Yes. I will. Go on without me. My guys were looking for Borea, and they came across. Vitalik, Vitalik. He's not dead today. You think Borea killed him? Shevchuk could have seen him, and he killed him for it. Bury him, and that's it. No. Bale is getting serious about finding Shevchuk. If she finds him, we'll go down as accomplices. Hello, may I come in, Anna Alexandrovna? Sure. This is for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, how are you feeling? How's your leg? Not much better, thanks. Overall, not great. Tell me about it. I'm off my sleeping pills and painkillers. I'm not sleeping at all. I'm having nightmares. Anything to do with the attack? Assault, too. Tell me, in reality, did you ever see your attacker's face? Maybe you can remember some details. I only saw the eyes. Eyes. I feel like I know this man. 
That's interesting. You suspected Shevchuk was the killer and he's just another victim. The test results came back. Orina's baby is not his. Remove the body. You wanted proof? Here it is, in front of you. It's not necessarily his hair. Well, it's obvious. Shevchuk figured out his friend was the killer, tracked down Chernyshenko. A fight broke out. Vitalik managed to hit him on the head and pull out a piece of hair before he killed him. First of all, we have to decide if that hair belongs to Chernyshenko. Secondly, we need to figure out the method and time of the murder. Then we need to figure out how Shevchuk was killed. Was his body transported here or was he killed here on the spot? That's third. Judging by the fact that his clothes are clean, the fight didn't happen here. If there was a fight at all, and fourth, we need to figure out how Shevchuk's cell phone ended up on Black Lake and he ended up here on Deep Lake. Chernyshenko could have deliberately dumped it somewhere else to confuse the tracks. I think you're trying to justify him in any way possible. I'm just trying to understand what really happened. How Chernyshenko managed to attack Kostritskaya at Deep Lake, kill Shevchuk and bury his body here in such a short time, and dump his cell phone in Black Lake, come home and do it all without a car. He could have killed Shevchuk in the afternoon. He could have. But we've got Girovich on the run and he could have done it too. So let's wait for the autopsy, DNA hair examination and not organize a briefing with the mayor so that we won't be ashamed later. I don't need your advice. We can try to get your memories out, if it's okay with you. I'm okay with that. Yes, that's great. Excuse me, uh, one second. I'm listening. Arkady Lvovic, I need you urgently. I'm busy now. I have a session with Anna Kostritskaya. Is something wrong? I understand. Reschedule it for another time, please. The thing is that we found the body of Vitaly Shevchuk. And I really need you to see how Chernyshenko reacted to the news. I'm on my way to the hospital, get out. Do we have any good news? Why are you wearing gloves? Are you going to torture me? No, I just need to take some of your hair. No problem. Are you suspecting me of paternity, too? 
I've had a lot of things in my life, but nothing with Arena. It doesn't matter. We found Shevchuk. Where is he? Where you buried him. Wait a minute. Was he killed? The way you talk right away. Murdered, you ex surprised. Did you think we wouldn't find him? That's it, Chernyshenko. You've had it. Write a hot folk confession. Maybe they'll give you 25 years instead of life. What do you think? He's certainly shaken up. It's like reacting to the news that someone close to you is dead, isn't it? It could be. Either he's realized he can't get away with it because the evidence is against him and he's frantically thinking about what to do next. How are you feeling? What are you doing here? I came to see you. I brought some herbs. This is to help your leg heal. Another bottle. This is to calm the nerves. Don't get it mixed up. Thanks. I'm all for traditional medicine. You've been through a lot. Yes. Will you stop hypnotizing me? I went to Pacific Lake last night. I didn't think they'd get you out. What do you want? I came to warn you. Get out of here before it's too late. Did you come to threaten me? No, it's advice. There's not going to be any balneological complex here anyway. I'm calling Dmitry Yurievich. Go away. Oksana Ivanovna, did you mistake the hairs? Maybe they're from different people, and you're setting up your Chernyshenko. He's as much mine as he is yours. What is it? Pigmentation of the scales. Shape of the molecules all match. Well, that's great. Take this to the genetic center, have them run an identity report as soon as possible. What's the point if it's already clear? As Oksana Ivanovna pointed out, a court needs hard evidence, do it. Yes, Anna Alexandrovna? I'll be right there. What about Kostretskaya? Someone attacked her again. No, she's fine. Shall we go to the hospital? No. Let's question Piotr. Piotr. 
Samples of your hair and the hair found in the hand of the murdered Shevchuk have been sent for examination. Visual inspection shows they're identical. I think the forensics will confirm that. Naturally. Those people who ripped a lock of my hair out of me hardly wanted to keep it as a memento. Same thing with the scuba diving. It was planted where no was attacked, and the hair. How was he killed? What do you think? What happened to him? There's no one there. You can speak frankly. The thing is, we have... We had plans. But they changed abruptly after Kao called him. You can draw your own conclusions. Maybe Dmitry Yuryevich gave him something to do. I don't think so. What were your plans? He wanted to get into Ivashko's apartment, and I was to make sure no one got in. What did you want to find there? He thought Irina knew who the killer was, and that you didn't search the apartment thoroughly enough. That's all. Did she bring this? I think she was trying to poison me. I don't think she'd do that. I don't know. Are you sure, Dmitry Yuryevich? I don't understand what this pseudo-witch is doing in Chernuzersk. Can't you deal with her? Why does the future of our project depend on some crazy woman? I'll deal with her. I think she organized the attack on me at the lake. I'll deal with her. Oksana, wait. Let me go alone. I don't think Sergei will be happy to see you. You're the one who held him back. That's right. I convinced Koval of his innocence, too. And I convinced him to let him go home. Yeah, but still, we have no right to search the apartment. We'll have to make a deal. We'll have to ask him. And I know you're not very good at that. Well... I'm good. You go ahead. That's great. Investigator Bileya, I requested Vitaly Shevchuk's phone records. I'm waiting. I thought there were no more questions for me. Of course not, Sergei Vasilevich. No questions for you personally. We're still looking for the killer. Quiet. Valor is home. I'm sorry. Sergei Vasilevich, we need your help. Do you still have photos of pregnant Irina or pre-pregnancy photos? More specifically, we need group shots. They could be of the boy's father. Tell me, what's the point of looking for anything if Chernyshenko's the killer? Not so long ago, everyone thought you were the killer. There's no hard evidence linking Chernyshenko to the murder. Would you really want an innocent man convicted?
Kirovich. Freeze. That's all there is. Thank you so much. Just give them back. It's a memory. Of course, I promise you personally. Thank you, Sergei Vasilevich. Oksana, look. Oksana. Oksana. Arkady Lvovic. Good afternoon. Hello. What are you doing here? Business. Do you live here? Yes. This is my entryway. Why don't you come in? I bought some chocolate chip cookies for tea. I'd love to, maybe next time, I need to find a colleague. Next time then? Yes. See you next time. Have a good day. Dmitry Yurievic. I saw Gurevich. He's in town. Astronomical 8. I've been chasing him. He ran into the entrance and hid in one of the apartments. It's not far from Ivashko's house. Call for backup. I'm on it. Hello? Where are you? In the next yard, to the left of Ivashko's house. I ran after Gurevich. Come here. Can't you at least listen to me? Enough, I've heard enough. How many times have I told you not to get involved with her? Who are you to decide whether the complex will be built? You care about this more than anyone else. Live your life if you don't want any trouble. Got it. Good for you. Stop bullying me. I can get in trouble, too. What? Come with me. Where? To the cell? Aren't you afraid I'll tell Oksana about all your affairs? I'm not afraid. You'll be fine. You'll calm down. Maybe you wise up. Get your stuff. I'm not going anywhere. Nobody asked you. Give me your hand. Hello friends, how are you? Fine, I'm good. Hello, hello. Let's take a picture, very good. Hurry up. Friends, it's good to see you all on this sunny day. Hello, Lenya. Hello, Vera Pavlovna. The chief told me not to let anyone to see Pyotr. I brought him some things and groceries. All right, come on in. There's a guard outside the cell. Try to negotiate. Thank you. We've been through all the apartments, no sign of him, no one saw or heard him. He must have escaped through the roof. If you'd driven longer, you'd have had a better chance of catching him. Check the other entrances. Of course, let's make it quick. I'm gonna tell him all about it. 
Great, he turned his phone off. Don't be mad, here's what I was thinking. Which entrance of Ivashko's house did Girovich come out of? The last one, why? Yevanya lives there, one of Galina's friends. I met her while I was looking for you. So? Poachers live above her, Anton and his uncle Grigory. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you. You're welcome. Goodbye. My dear countrymen, every morning I wake up thinking of you, and I go to sleep thinking of you too. I wonder how we can make our city more stable and prosperous. We only have stable murders. And our mayor's been sitting in his seat for too long. The mayor needs to be changed. He walks around with guards and let maniacs kill us. He's more afraid of us than he is of a maniac. I'm not afraid of anything. I can offer this microphone to any one of you. Go ahead. Let's solve our problems together. And as for the maniac, they've already found him. And it turned out to be our all too familiar Peter Chernyshenko. I promise you that his punishment will be maximum. Are you sure it's him? Because you already said that the killer is Girovich. Yes. Then Ivashko. My friends, this time the investigation has no doubts. And just think about it. Peter Chernyshenko didn't only kill those women. He also cynically killed his friend. Police Captain Vitaly Shevchuk. That's a lie. Vera Pavlovna. Look at me. Half of you I taught chemistry and biology. Over the years, have I ever once deceived any of you, graded you unfairly, humiliated, acted out of conscience? Do you really think I could have raised a murderer? He didn't kill anyone. He's my responsibility. Any mother would protect her son, even if he's a scumbag. Vera Pavlovna, we have no claims against you personally, but your son Pyotr. Understand, those he killed have relatives too, they also have mothers, children. And it's our main duty to take care of them. Vera Pavlovna, you. It's nothing scary. Let's continue. Go ahead. Come in, sit down. It's for you for the first time. I'll bring something normal tomorrow. What a good man, bringing a woman to the palace, got her drunk, better. Thank you for not raping her. Olga. Don't make me angry. Or what? You'll kill me. Or bury alive? What are you talking about? Take off the handcuffs. No way. What about the bathroom, hero? Sorry, no lights. Bye. Bastard. Son of a bitch. Anton Nesterov. Yes. 
Get in the car. Come with us. What's the matter? Boris Gurevich, who escaped from custody, was hiding at your place. No one was hiding out at my place. I haven't seen Boris in a long time. Really? Yes. Your uncle did. He said he even slept over. Uncle Grisha, when he's drunk, he'll tell a lot of stories. Not convincing, Nestrov. I personally saw Gurevich coming out of your building, and his jacket is hanging in your apartment. Don't run away, please. Hello, Vera Pavlovna. Hello. I'm Yulia. Hasn't Peter told you about me? Was he supposed to? I was hoping I meant something to him. Are you dating my son? Do you fish a lot on Black Lake? I do. Did you attack Piotr? I didn't attack anyone. Did you contact Gurevich when he was on the street? Did you get any instructions from him? I didn't contact anyone. Do you think I helped him escape from prison? And who helped him escape? Why are you being such a baby? Don't you know who runs this place? Does Oksana Ivanovna keep detaining everyone? Gurevich was hiding out at his place. Let's go show me where Gurevich is hiding now. Dmitry Yurievich, I don't know. You don't know? Then you go to jail instead. I'm not finished yet. You'll finish later. Sergeant, take it. Oh, come on. I'm starting to think Cowell was behind the attack on Petter. Oksana, let's talk about this somewhere else. Vitalik introduced us. He lived upstairs and we were friends. And Petya and I dated for almost half a year, everything was fine. And then he got interested in his mystical channel and started disappearing to the lakes. I should have been supportive of his hobbies, but I was jealous. I mean, half his followers are young girls. Then the murders started and this Bilea showed up and he forgot all about me. Yulika, why are you telling me all this? I sympathize with you, but I've never meddled in my son's private affairs and I'm not going to. I don't have time for this right now. I didn't want you to interfere. I want to help. There must be witnesses. Someone must have seen that Petta spent the whole night at the Black Lake. Yes, I thought about it. But how can we find them? Let me videotape you and we'll put it on Petta's channel. Subscribers should help. I don't know the password to Petta's account. I'll figure something out. Yes, Pavel Sarjevic. I realize these are very serious charges. That's why I'm calling, what? I have no relationship with Chernyshenko. I understand. Koval beat you to it. Pavel Sargevic thinks our claims are groundless. If we can prove Koval's involvement in the dead Lily's case, they'll bring in an internal investigation. For now, we're on our own, Ruslan. What do you got? What was he hit over the head with? The victim's skull was fractured with a heavy object. It could be either a statue or a heavy ashtray. We'll know for sure when the tissue results come back. Spontaneous homicide. The killer just grabbed the first object he could find. Isn't that right? That right. There were no soil particles on the shoe, so he was killed indoors and buried later. Isn't that right? 
That's exactly right. Got a time of death. 70 to 80 hours. Wow, over a day. So he was killed as early as Friday. Yeah, does that mean anything? Kostretskaya was attacked Saturday night. That's the same time Chernyshenko had a piece of hair pulled out of his head. So Shevchuk didn't fight anyone other than a fractured skull. I found no other injuries on the body. So Chernyshenko's lock of hair was placed in Shevchuk's hand 24 hours after his death. Maybe he was hoping the body wouldn't be found so quickly. Otherwise, the evidence against Pyotr would be overwhelming. I see. Thank you, Ruslan. You're welcome. Это значит одно. Гуревич вне подозрений. В пятницу он был в камере. А вот Чернышенко никто не мешал убить Шевчука на день раньше. Я в субботу вечером больше часа общалась с Чернышенко и выдранных волос у него не видела. А вы так тщательно осмотрели его голову? Я достаточно наблюдательна, а такое невозможно не заметить. Это ничего не доказывает. Может, он просто пытался нас запутать этими волосами. Почему вы так враждебно настроены против Чернышенко? Это личное? Это у вас личное. Преступник должен сидеть в тюрьме. Именно поэтому вы увели с допроса Антона Нестерова, чтобы помешать мне выяснить, кто на самом деле преступник. Нестеров в камере. Допрашивайте сколько угодно. Я уже пыталась, он молчит как рыба, потому что вы его запугали. Я бы не советовал вам бросаться подобными обвинениями, Оксана Ивановна. А я бы не советовала вам препятствовать следствию, а то сами можете оказаться на скамье подсудимых. Peter, try to remember what you did on Friday. Remember the whole day? Yes. Thursday night, I was attacked at the lake. Friday, I woke up, had breakfast and went to the hospital to have the beating taken off. On my way out of the hospital, I met Koval and you and Arkady of Olve. Then I went to the hospital to write a statement. I was there for two hours while I was writing the statement. I talked to the captain. Then I met with Vitaly. Why? He said he had a case. So we met at Ivashko's house. He wanted to break into the apartment. But Koval called him and summoned him. He left. I waited for him to come back. He came back and said he had to leave urgently. I never saw him again. What time was that? About three o'clock. What did you do next? I went home, had lunch, recorded a video. Then I found out that Sergei Ivashko's mother had arrived. I went to the hospital to interview her, but she refused. And then? Walked around town, came home, sat down to dinner with my mom, and that anonymous letter came. Let's be specific. Where did you go and who can confirm it? Pedia. Pedia, hi. Who did this to you? Pedia, why are you doing this to me? Yulia, I don't have time right now. Why do you have time for everyone and not me? Can we talk normally? We've already talked about everything. Let's talk again. Okay. Let's talk. No one. I was out of my own thinking. I wasn't paying attention to anyone. That's not good. Try to remember who might have seen you, Petter. Your alibi depends on it. Wow. 
Is Anna Alexandrovna okay? I'm not here as the Kostritsky's manager. I'm... Oksana, this is Pyotr's girlfriend. Here you go. Thank you. And Yulia just needs the password to Pyotr's account. Why? I recorded a video with Vera Pavlovna. I think that way people who saw Petya going to or from Black Lake that night might respond. Okay, Arkady Lvovic, give her the password. Okay. Tell me, Juliet. Did you happen to see where Pyotr was on Friday night? I know, with me. All night? Yes. Can you confirm that in court? Of course I can. Good. Thank you so much. Can I go now? Have a good day. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oksana, I think you should talk to Pyotr personally. Yulia's exaggerating a bit. I just talked to him and he didn't say a word about being with his girlfriend all night. Either Cowell is right and Petter is a pathological liar, or Julia is lying to protect Petter. Or he didn't want to tell you about it personally, because this meeting was not important for him. Arkady Lvovic, don't prescribe me an affair with that frivolous provincial. I'm going to the hospital. I need to question Anna. There's nothing here, bastard. Boris. Boris, is that you? Let me out. Wait, don't go. Who are you? Olga, Olga Kashova. Olga Tasheva, or which? Who locked you in there? Koval Boris, he's looking for you too. Help me, let me out. I'll give you some money, you can leave. Are you absolutely sure it was Pyotr Chernyshenko who attacked you? I don't know. He was wearing a mask. I was really scared. It's very scary to be dragged down. Tell me, why didn't your husband come when he found out you were attacked? I didn't tell him. He thinks another woman was attacked. He's in trouble now. The main investor refused to give us money and he's on the verge of bankruptcy. Call him and tell him. You need his support now more than ever. 
and suggest you borrow with Arkady Lvovic. He's an excellent therapist. Thank you. Thank you for your support. I told you not to bother her. She's still reeling from yesterday's visit. You're always bugging her. What visit? Don't you know? Olga Tetcheva came to see her yesterday. After that, Anna Alexandrovna got agitated and called the chief of police. Hush, hush, what are you doing here? I'm looking for Olga. What about you? Me too. Do you know what she did at the hospital? Where is she? Want some? I don't want to. Where's Olga? I told you, I'm looking for her too. Oksana, Galina Semyonovna called. She's expecting us for dinner. Why don't you do it without me? I understand, but it's her birthday today. Galina Semyonovna's birthday. All right, I'll try to be there. Goodbye. What a gorgeous orchid. It's as if you knew my favorite color. Thank you. Arkady Lvovic. My lipstick stained you. Yes? There's not much left. Oksana picked it out personally, and this is from me. What's this? It's my favorite kind of Chinese along. I'll brew and drink it tomorrow. You'll drink it together. Oksana. Arkady Lvovic. I know that you like everything oriental. That's why I made chicken and Jamaican sauce. Super, tell me, Galina Semyonovna, will your friends be joining us? No, not tonight. Arkady Lvovic, why do you need more friends? I've decided that I'll meet them on Sunday. There's such a crowd gathering there. Aha. Uh -huh. I thought it best not to mix. What is that smell? Is that the smell of chicken? No, it's Jamaican sauce. Is it? Yes. Vera Pavlovna, I'll be right there. Okay, I got it. I apologize. I'll have to leave you alone. How? Is something wrong? Nothing bad. I apologize. It's work. Arkady Lvovic. Say congratulations in honor of the birthday girl. Hello, Oksana. Hello, Vera Pavlovna. Hello, hello. Hello. Tell me. We were visiting friends in the region. When was that? Saturday night. We were going to spend the night there and come home on Sunday. The part of the road just past Black Lake. We pass some dude, and Dasha says he's our mystic specialist. Peter Chernyshenko. Where was he going? Toward us. Toward the city. He walked and swayed. I thought he was drunk. Can you remember the exact time? The bus leaves at 7.30. It's a 15-minute ride to the lake. I see. That's around the time Anna Kostritsky was attacked. I'm sorry. You'll have to come with me to the police station to take a statement. 
Excuse me, the chicken's a real piece of work. It's okay. We've had so much to drink, we're still thirsty. Arcadio, let me get you some more wine. No, Galia, we've had enough. Better compote or mineral water. We'll do it right away. I drink a little too much. I haven't had that much to drink, but I'm already cheerful. Careful. I'm not feeling well. Galia? Galia, are you all right? So quiet. What happened, what? Let's hurry up. Hurry up, please. Be careful. Where are the experts? They'll be here soon. What makes you think it's poisoning? What do you think? I sampled all the food and drinks and the rest of the wine in the bottle, so... We'll find out, get them out of here. Figure it out, just so you know. Of your mind, what kind of accusations? Both of them are in stable, serious condition. Can they be questioned yet? Not yet. Any suspects? Pavel Sargavik. I'm almost certain that Koval was involved in the poisonings. Why would he poison Arkady Lvovic? The thing is, I was supposed to be at that dinner too, but I was called away on business. In the morning, I threatened Koval that if he obstructed the investigation, he might end up in the dock. Good for him, that's all I can say. My fault. I snapped. I couldn't take it. In the evening, Koval heard me on the phone with Arkady Lvovic, who was giving me an invitation from Galina Semyonovna to her birthday party. I see. I'll send you reinforcements. Thank you. If it's possible to keep it off the record, I don't want to spook Koval. Done. Let's open second. Give me the money. That's it. Not enough. It's enough to go away, but I didn't promise you drugs. Give me the money. If you mess with me again, I'll break your neck. You understand? Bitch, I believed you. I helped you get out. That's touching. If you tell me why Cal helped you escape from the cell, I'll give you more money. What do you want? None of your business. Either tell me or get out. I got busted for drugs. So what? I stole meth from a kitchen that cow runs. What kitchen and what kind of meth? Methamphetamine, damn it. Synthetic, that's the kind of stuff that gets you high, and the kitchen is where the drugs are cooked. Methamphetamine? Yes. And cow's running all this. Where do they cook it all up? Tell me where they cook it all.
What's going on? Why is my room being searched? To see if there's a toxic substance in here. Are you crazy, Dmitry Yuryevich? Not at all, Oksana Ivanovna. I'm adopting your methods. Only my suspicions. Unlike yours, are quite reasonable. You had every opportunity to put poison in any dish or drink. Then leave to give yourself an alibi, come back and be the first on the scene to clean up your tracks, if there are any traces left. What's my motive? We'll figure out your motive. Don't worry, in the meantime, we're gonna need your fingers. Have you canvassed the neighborhood who visited Galina Semyonovna today? Of course we did. It's a person's birthday, whoever came by. Dmitry Yuryevich. The fingers are the same as on the jug. I moved the splinters to put the victim on the floor. I hit one. Are you going to arrest me for this? I'd love to. But unfortunately, you were sent from upstairs. So we'll let your superiors decide what to do with you. It's my job to provide the grounds for that. You just want me out of this town as soon as possible. I do. I'm gonna go for a walk. Don't leave town. There's no money in it. Oh, man. Go to bed. And no tricks. Lights out. You want to get caught? Who's gonna come in here? Yurevich, come out with your hands up. The house is surrounded. Where are you going? Shit, missed him. According to legend, you are Galina Semyonovna's great nephew and Natasha's wife. When we found out that my aunt was in trouble, they came at once. Good, so the locals won't have any questions. Two more will come tonight and we'll switch. That's our unsub. That's his car. I'll text you pictures and addresses to your phone. Take a walk around town. You can go to the hospital to check on your aunt. Koval spent half the night at our hotel last night, so he's probably asleep by now. I'll tell you when to come to the ward. I'll try to piss him off. And you You'll get on his tail. Should we get an apartment? Stay at the hotel. You won't have to find a place to meet. Take the keys. It's for the hotel entrance. If the locals start asking where it's from, tell them Galina Semyonovna gave it to you just in case. Choose any room, except rooms three and four. We'll be in touch. Yes. Do I look that bad? 
How's Galena? She's more or less. Oksana, you never learned how to lie. Is she that bad? She is in regained consciousness. She had hepatitis before and the poison affected her liver, which was already weakened, and hit her other organs. Damn it, I had a feeling something was wrong with that chicken. I just thought Galena overdid it with the pepper or the ginger. I didn't tell her because I didn't want to offend her. I've always told you your delicacy will get you killed. Oksana girl, you're in danger too. I am. Our serial killer's gone completely out of his mind. We must have gotten too close. Call Pavel Sargevic and tell him to send reinforcements. Our Katie Lvovic, don't worry, the reinforcements are already here. Get well and don't think about the cereals. I got it. Tell me how he's feeling. Don't worry, he'll be fine. Thank you. Don't worry. Hello. Hello. I just heard about Arkady Lvovic. How is he? He'll be fine. Do you know who did it yet? I can imagine how worried you must be. He's like a father to you, isn't he? I have a strong emotional bond with Svetlana Mikhailovna too. Last year after she got pneumonia, I thought I'd go crazy. We've been together for 20 years. She was my nanny. Then when her husband and daughter died, her parents took her in. She took it really hard. She still says I saved her and brought her back to life. I'm probably holding you up. I'm sorry. Have a good day. Thank you, too. Oksana, do we have the results of the decoction tests yet? What decoctions? Didn't Dmitry Yuryevich tell you? Olga Kacheva brought me some decoctions. I thought she was trying to poison me. He took them for examination. Dmitry Yuryevich, the results of the examination came back. The poison was in the chicken with hot sauce. The highly toxic pesticide used on plants is freely available. The poisoners added sleeping pills to the chicken so the victims couldn't call for help. My fingerprints were not found on the kitchen surface or on any of the other dishes. Would you like to apologize to me? And you would you like to apologize to me? I have nothing to apologize for. Where are the forensic results of the potions Olga Kasheva brought to the hospital? I didn't bring them to the lab. I accidentally dropped them. The potions are in glass jars. They fell and broke. Broken by accident at Olga Kasheva's house? You were trespassing at her house. You're gonna tell me about trespassing. Are you aware that your mistress Olga Kasheva is hiding Gurevich, who escaped from custody, in her house? I don't know what you're talking about. Really? Are you aware that Olga Kasheva helped Gurevich escape? Stas, he's coming out of the building. Get ready. The kitchen's in that building, see? And the warehouse with the produce. Same there. And when is it delivered? When I was working, it was once a week. I don't know about now. Does Cal come here often? He comes once a month to get his money, or when there's an emergency. What about security? 
Are you gonna rob them? None of your business. The less you know, the better you sleep. What about the guards? Okay. Good afternoon. How is Arkady Ovovic? The guard said he was going to be poisoned. His condition is serious, but nothing life-threatening. They wanted to poison you. It's possible. That's not why I'm here. Do you remember anything about Friday night? I do, but it's nothing. I don't think it's important. Meeting your girlfriend is trivial. Did you talk to Julia? She came to us on her own. Mm. You know, Julia hasn't been my girlfriend for a long time. I see. I'm not interested. Tomorrow the court will dismiss the criminal case against you due to the discovery of new circumstances. Vera Pavlovna and Yulia found witnesses who saw you at the Black Lake during the attack on Kostritskaya. Yulia claims she spent the whole Friday night with you, that's the same time Shevchuk was killed. So you have an alibi for both. That's great. That's great. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Oh, uh, listen to this. I broke up with Julia over a month ago. That's it. Was there a meeting on Friday? Yes. Bitch. What's he got in there? A canister. Is he going to set the house on fire? He's crazy. Bastard.
Kovel's running a drug lab, 93 Vishnevaya Street. The warehouse is behind the old garages. Catch him red-handed. Faster, 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 get the water. Fucking hell. How did this happen? Arson, we found bottle shards. Is this all of it? There's more in the second warehouse. Everybody gets over there now. Let's load it up. Is this all of it? Yes. Let's hurry up and let's go. Police, freeze. Put your hands up. Freeze, don't move. Yes, hush. Put your hands up. Oksana Ivanovna, uncuff me. I'm the one conducting the operation to apprehend this gang. Get down on the floor, hands behind your head. Call your colleagues in the drug crimes unit. Oksana, I've been waiting for you. I were a little late. Here are the records from the interrogations as you requested. Well done, that's good. Did you conduct interrogations all night? I didn't want to delegate to anyone. Someone among the detainees is involved in the serial killings. Have you stopped considering Kovalev guilty? He denies his involvement in the lab and the murders. He somehow convincingly justifies himself regarding the killings. Maybe I'm wrong. What about the other detainees? Out of all these drug dealers, the main suspect is Edward Zarkov, but it's a stretch. The rest are mere followers. One of them confessed to leaving lilies on the hood of my car. Zarkov and Kovalov tried to intimidate me like that. Take a look for yourself. I will definitely take a look. I will definitely take a look. And you go and get some rest. No, the trial for Peter's case is soon, and I have to be there, then I'll come back to you. Okay. I'll repeat it once again, I've been monitoring them for a long time. And just when I managed to catch them red-handed, you decided to claim my work's results as your own and also accuse me of being connected to them. Dmitry Yurievich, your business partner Edward Zarkov claims. He is not my business partner at all. That's how he refers to himself. The idea of setting up a drug lab on the warehouse premises was yours. That's a blatant lie. He introduced the financial reports. They clearly describe all the amounts paid to you for so-called business security. I can fabricate millions of such reports for you. That doesn't prove anything. Sure, sure, yeah, stop. The outrage and anger are clearly fake. Masking fear and confusion. Trying to counterattack. Interesting. It's been 21 minutes of interrogation. Let's continue. Snezana Gudzik broke up with Boris Gurevich because she knew he was involved in drug production and you had a disagreement with him for the same reason. She realized you were covering Zarkov and his drug lab. You had an obvious motive to kill her. I already told you the night Snezana Gudzik was killed and the night Irina Ivashko was killed. I was with Olga Tkasheva. You realize she can't confirm that. When she comes back, she'll confirm it. Are you sure? After you are sewned her house? I didn't arson anything. Arson. That was confirmed by my employees, okay? 
We'll come back to that. What's about your alibi for the murders of Varvara Krivonis and Ludmila Shapovalova? I was at home. My wife can prove it. We already asked her. She said you always come home when she's asleep. She doesn't even know if you were home those two nights. Why don't you get us a meeting and I'll help her remember? Or maybe he did spend the night at home. Let's check it out. Okay. Thank you, Julia. If it wasn't for you, I don't know what we'd do. Pedia, can you hear me at all? Yes, I can, Yulia. Thank you. You didn't have to lie in Kortobalo for our romantic date. We met for half an hour and then we broke up. I had to undo what I'd done. I'm the one who told Kala you bought the scuba tank. That's why you got detention. I'm sorry. I was really mad. It's okay. Mom, go home. Thank you. Oksana. Thank you for believing in me. You're welcome. I'm returning your property. I heard Kova was arrested. Did he confess? Is he the killer? He didn't confess. I'm not sure he's the killer. While I was in my cell, I remembered something important. One of my viewers was a man called Dr. Evil. He was commenting very intelligently on a video about the dead Lily's case. I first thought it was one of yours. Then yesterday I wondered, what if it was a murder? Dr. Evil. Thanks, I'll check it out. No, you won't. Kao deleted everything. I'll have my text pull it out of the memory cache. Anya, the machine is ready. Let's go through. Mikhail Borisovic, you're just a magician. Don't be. I was already losing heart. Hello. 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 Are you discharged? Yes. I'm allowed to stay at home. I'm happy for you. Thank you. Today is a very good day. Mikhail Borisovic has found an investor for our complex. Congratulations. Thank you, Oksana. Is it true that Dmitry Yuryevich is involved with drugs? Unfortunately, yes, everyone was caught red-handed. That's terrible. Yes, a nightmare, Anya. Urgent call. I'll wait for you in the car. Is Dmitry Yuryevich connected to dead lilies too? We don't know yet. We're working on it. How's your husband? Is he here? We're getting a divorce. Divorced? Yeah. He thinks I'm a loser and says the complex has no prospects, and I put all my money into it. So he's looking for a rich new wife. I'm sorry, I thought you two shared funds. It's okay, I'll manage, I'll still finish the complex. That's the right attitude, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Are we all set? Let's go. Arkady Lvovic, why are you standing? What's wrong? I think better that way. All right. Did you watch the video of Koval's interrogation? Yes, I watched it to the end, and you're right. Edward and his henchmen are nothing, but Kaul is the paranoid type. Driven, conflicted, and very stubborn. Prone to violence. He's willing to destroy anything in his path of rage. I can imagine what would happen if he was our serial killer. He'd be abusing his victims. Humane behavior isn't his style. Yeah, and then there's the whole decorating the victims with flowers thing, which is bullshit. 
so it's a dead end again. What if they were working in tandem with Olga? No. I can't imagine that Olga's empathic nature would be involved in the murders. She'd probably tap into the victim's feelings and go insane. Maybe that's why the murders were humane, and the victims were sedated before they were killed. By the way, Petter gave me an idea. Our tech guys have been digging around. Here we go, check this out. As I predicted, the killer has developed a taste for murder, he revels in his power over the lowly humans and dumb sheep he kills and the pathetic, helpless investigators who try to catch him, they won't. The writing style sounds like Pavlovsky. Maybe that's who he is. Look, the latest commentary on the murder of Irina Ivashko, Dr. Evil is in right comments again. I asked Pavel Sarjevic if Pavlovsky had any connections on the outside. Did you check? We did. The guard who gave him the phone was fired. I'll contact the guys and ask them to run an IP address. Pedia, isn't that enough for you? Isn't it enough what happened? Petta. Thank you. The Ips match. I'll have to go to Pavlovsky again. Why? First, we need to see if he's been corresponding with our serial killer. And secondly, we can bring him in as an expert. You said yourself that your American colleagues practice this. First of all, he won't tell you anything useful, and secondly, he'll just make you nervous. Not if. If you prepare me for this meeting, There's no statute of limitations on the oldest part of our reptilian brain. Pavlovsky almost killed you once, that's why the reptilian brain sets off the siren whenever you approach him, deadly. Hit or run. The adrenal glands release cortisol and adrenaline into the bloodstream. Heart rate increases, blood pressure and temperature rise. The ability to think normally decreases. Don't let panic set in. Deep breaths. Keep your attention in your body. Feel your feet and daloni. Don't fidget. If you start to worry, massage your ears or acupuncture points on your hands. The most effective way to keep stress reactions from triggering is to engage the neocortex. That's the rational brain. Realize Pavlovsky can't do anything else to you.
He's sitting in a cage looking like an animal with its claws ripped out. He may hiss and growl, but he's no longer a threat. He's dependent on you now, not you on him. He's just a ghost from your past. You can control him, he can't control you. I told you you'd be back. Hello, Dr. Evil. You surprised me. The comments are very insightful. I know they are. We could bring you in as an expert consultant. Off the record, of course. I'm interested in the paperwork, but to be able to get out once in a while, I'll consult you at crime scenes. I think that could be arranged. I'll need constant internet access and ask them for my cell phone back. In order to demand something, I need to show results. Results will come. What can I say about my little brother and mine from the glorious city of Chernuzersk? He's about your age, 30 to 35 years old. My case was widely publicized in the press. He's my idol and he wants to outdo me. So he came up with this lily trick, but what he doesn't realize is that it's just a set. It's what happens between you and the victims. But he's a capable guy, leaves no trace, picks victims that aren't connected. You know why he sedates women before he drowns them. He still can't get used to your screams, your moans, your pleas. He'll get the hang of it soon enough. Because that's the fun part. Do you think the murders will get more brutal as time goes on? No doubt about it, I mean, he's improving himself. Can a killer change the way he kills? Killing not only women, but men as well. Not just drown them, but bury them. He's obviously not interested in men. Burying isn't aesthetic. The real elite killer is an artist. You pretend to be superhuman, Pavlovsky. But you're just an animal, a common pervert. And the funny thing is, you're so ambitious. And your mental abilities are below average. Either you've always been like that, or you've degenerated after 10 years in solitary confinement. The Chernuzerski maniac kills not only women, but also men. He not only drowns them, he buries them. He's not a fan of yours, and he has his own reasons for murder. What are they? You'll never know it, and you'll never get out of here. You'll rot here uninterested and forgotten by everyone
Yes, Arkady Lvovic. Why don't you call? How did it go? Are you sick again? I'm fine. I'm going back to Chernuzersk. I didn't call because I didn't want to wake you up. I didn't go to bed. I was waiting for a call from you. Tell me how it went. I'm not afraid of him anymore. Everything went as you planned. You're a genius. Arkady Lvovic, a genius. Don't exaggerate. It's true. I also figured out who our serial killer is. Pavlovsky and his kind are hostages to his own game. Our killer's not connected to anything. He just works in different ways. So I thought, what if his main motive is to confuse the police and avert suspicion? Maybe. You know why our profile doesn't fit anyone? Because we haven't met the killer yet. You think it's Maxim Kostritsky, Anna's husband? See, you guessed it, too. It seems to me that all the murders at the lakes were to create panic in the city and to divert attention, and as the real target. Maybe she had a big insurance policy and he wanted her money when she died. And he killed Shevchuk because he figured it out. I think so. I already called Pavel Sarjevic and asked him to check Kostritsky's cell phone and his apartment. They'll check it today. Oh great, and when you get there go to bed right away. You can't do that, two days without sleep. Yes, sir. I'm all packed, I'll be there soon. Oksana Ivanovna, there's a woman here to see you, she says it's urgent. Vera Pavlovna, what happened? Putty has gone crazy. Did you see what he posted on his channel today? I was friends with Vitaly Shevchik. The day before he died, he told me who he suspected of the murders. Tonight at 9 p.m. at the place where the first victim Snezana Gudzik was found, I'll tell you who he is, a Chernyzewski maniac. Hello, Piotr. Have you gone mad? Luring a murderer out like this is not a justifiable risk. I'm not going to take any risks. I'll put weapons on the shore in advance and see who comes here. I forbid you to go into the lake. Piotr, can you hear me? I have to go to the hospital right away. Galina Semyonovna has regained consciousness. We need to question her. I'll be right back to you when I'm free. I'll tell Peter off. Everything will be resolved. Don't worry. It's still hard for Galia to talk, but her memory's fine. She told me that when she was cooking her beautiful chicken, Svetlana Mikhailovna came to see her. The Kostritsky's housekeeper. Yes. She said happy birthday and brought a pot of hydrangeas as a present. Turns out she's an expert gardener. Shit. I was sure she was loyal to Anna. Turns out she's in cahoots with Maxim. Looks like no one's home, no car in the yard. Yes, and she's not answering her phone. Help. 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 You.
So what are you injecting to me? It doesn't matter. You can't make a plot about it. Anonymous messages. Did you send them, too? You're very predictable. How could I not take advantage of that? Then who attacked you at the silent museum? Vera Pavlovna, is Pyotr home? No. You know, I came back and he was not here. I'm afraid he's finally gone to Deep Lake. Let's go. You're going to get caught anyway. No, they won't. We'll blame Olga. Hash, do you hear the splashing of the water? Hands up. Came out of the water quickly. It's Petter. He's still alive. Cover me up. We ring the bell, no one answers the door, there is no one in the yard, what should we do? Copy that. Sorry, the subscriber busy at the moment. Please leave a message after the tone. No rush, let me do it. The guys were here. Natasha, call the emergency. I haven't drowned him. I was trying to save him. They injected something into him. And if it's anesthetics, he'll wake up in 25 minutes. And if it's poison, your ambulance won't be here in time. You take him to the hospital. What do you mean they? Anna and Svetlana. They were too far away. I didn't have time to stop them. Also, Anna wasn't attacked. You hear that? Anna fell out of the boat herself. By herself, it was faked. Take him to a hospital. Here's Anna Khan. Meet Oleg Zuba, my former classmate. Anna Alexandrovna, I heard about you from Mikhail, and it's very nice to meet you. Me too. Lubaka, make us some tea and coffee. Why isn't he awake? You bastards, you're gonna get caught anyway. Drugs. It's like waking up from anesthesia. Everything's okay, Petter. You're safe. Who attacked you? And then Svetlana, her housekeeper. Shit. My head hurts. Bring him in. Hello? Oksana Ivanovna, Anna's in the mayor's office. I understand. Keep an eye on her. I'll be there soon. Anna Alexandrovna, it is a great honor to work with you. One thing is confusing. I was informed that you have some problems with your husband. Yes. We are divorcing, but all the documents for the hospital complex are on me. Don't be afraid. Then we can move on to discussing the investment agreement. That's great. But let's not do it here. Misha, do you know a nice restaurant? Well, of course, it's very close. Irina's? Yes. Is it open? Honestly, I bought it. It's a secret for now. Here you go, let's go.
I'll order the most sumptuous dishes to be served. I'm on a diet myself, though. Right there. But we have such an occasion today. It's a shame not to celebrate. Watch it. I'm sorry. I got a little off track. Thank you. Anna Kostritskaya. You are arrested on suspicion of assaulting Peter Chernyshenko. Are you kidding me, actually? When he was attacked, I was very close to being killed by a maniac. I'm not talking about Saturday night. I'm talking about today. Today? Oksana, are you out of your mind? You want to arrest every person in the city, all right. I'm calling your superiors right now, and you're getting out of Chernuzers. Call. I have the victim's statement. That's enough. A statement, Peters? against me Mikhail Borisovic don't stress everything's gonna be fine you arrived at the mayor's office at 8 55 p.m. where were you for the previous hour we haven't found her yet where she might be It's a nightmare. Surviving a maniacal attack, now to be one of the accused. Tell me, where is your husband now? I don't know. We're divorced. Why? Ask him when you bring him in for questioning. He hasn't been to your apartment in the capital for over a month. That's what the neighbors say. The last times his phone was turned on was in Chernyuzersk and its environs. How can you explain that? He left before Ivan Kupel and I haven't seen him since. You think he's somewhere around here? Did you attack Chernyshenko to keep him from betraying your husband? I didn't even think so. Do you think it could be Maxim? I really didn't attack Petter. I don't know why he's lying. Good evening. Good evening. Yefim Romanovic Finsky is a lawyer. I will defend the interests of Anna Alexandrovna. Anna Alexandrovna, do not say anything without consulting me. Oksana. Forensics examined Kostritskaya's car and found nothing suspicious, no particles of grass or soil from the beach. Damn it. The DA refused to sign the warrant for the Kostritsky house. Terezhik must have pressured him. The lawyer wants Anna released immediately, but we can't let her out. Go to the hospital to see Chernyshenko and find out if he's able to testify and bring him here for a face-to-face -face meeting. Got it. How's Peter? Come to his senses. Yes. Confirmed what you said. Why didn't you say the attack on her was faked? Who would have believed me? I escaped from the investigation once because it was clear that my innocence was nobody's business. 20 years I've been living under someone else's last name. And some people think I'm crazy. What kind of witness am I? How long have you known Maxim? No, I've seen him a couple times, but I've never met him personally. But that's enough for you to know what kind of man he is. A handsome man who tries to seem cocky, but in this couple, it's Anna who's in charge. She's the strong one. And he is furniture, nothing. 
Olga Nikolaevna. I'm sorry. You can go. Just tell me where I can find you. Your statement will still be needed. Do you have any acquaintances, friends, relatives here? You have no place to go. Somehow, I've been living like a hermit these years. I tried not to let anyone get close to me. I did it. Why don't I get you a hotel room for the first time? I guess Galina Semyonovna doesn't mind. Thank you. You too. I heard some noise and ran towards it. And when I saw Anna, I was surprised at first. But then I realized everything. Fatlona, Anna's assistant, injected something behind my ear, right here. I said they get caught anyway, to which Anna replied. They'll blame it on Olga and they dragged me into the lake to drown. I couldn't move or say anything. But understood everything. Nothing funny. The domain has that effect. Continue. Don't make me laugh. You have no real evidence against her. I'll blow Chenishenko's testimony in court in a harpy. I'll make an innocent woman who was severely traumatized and the outrageous police actions in your person. Maybe we can come to an agreement. No agreement. Then I'll see you at the day's office tomorrow. I'll prepare the documents. Petter, Petter, what are you doing here? I asked to take you to the hospital. I'm better now. I thought I'd wait for you. How old are you? 36, so what? Nothing, you act like you're six. But I helped you find out who the killer is. I would have figured out who the murderer was without you. Just wouldn't have had to pull you out of the water and resuscitate you. You didn't have to do that. I didn't ask you to do that. You know, I get why you joined the police force. You like to yell at everybody and keep everybody in line. I'm talking quietly. I'm tired of it. You and Vitaly used to talk like that too. That's why he left your group. He investigated it on his own. And he died. You think it's my fault that Vitaly died? Oksana. Oksana, I'm sorry, I'm not accusing you, Oksana. No. Look at what an actress she is. Screwed me over. Perfectly played the victim of the attack. Genius, genius, and holding up well right now. So you're sure she's our serial murderer? Yes. Am I look? Notice how constricted her pupils are. You can tell she's under a whole bunch of stress right now. But she's trying to keep it under control. Here you go. Check it out. 
You see that? You see this? Her eyelids are twitching more than usual, and the lips are tense, and the hands. Look at the hands. She's holding them under the table. You know why. They're shaking or clenched really tight. She doesn't want us to notice. Ambitious, plays well, communicative, likes to take risks. Her full description, and matches our profile. Yes. The only thing I couldn't account for was that the murderer might be a woman. Well, it's not every man's responsibility to load a body into a boat like that. That's why we didn't consider women. I think she definitely had someone helping her. Either Svetlana or Maxim. You dismissed Maxim as the main murderer. You dismissed Maxim as the main murderer. I interviewed all of Anna's employees, and they all confirmed that she's the main one, and Maxim doesn't fit our profile. She has no connection to Chernusers. And Max was here in his youth. I saw him in one of the photos Sergei Ivashko gave me. What photos? Didn't I show you? Arkady Lovic. Oksana, what are you doing? You're an experienced investigator. How could you allow so many procedural violations? Terezik raised such a panic that the deputy minister heard about it wants to bring the commission here. I could hardly convince him I'd take care of it myself. What do you have to say for yourself? Pavel Sargavik. We found the murderer, but we have no proof. We need a search warrant immediately. Yes. It's so clean and sterile. The housekeeper should work in the emergency room. Pavel Sarjevic. Look. This could well be the object that hit Shevchuk on the head. She's not stupid enough to leave a murder weapon at home. So it's a gift from Dmitry Yuryevich. It's the work of a fashionable sculptor. Koval ordered it specifically from the capital. There's the answer. Anna couldn't throw it away. Bring the ultraviolet lamp. All right. Oksana Ivanovna, there are more traces of blood on the floor. I think Shevchuk fell here. The examination showed that the water lilies, which were used to decorate the bodies of the murdered women, were cut with this pruning shears of your housemaid. Among the chemicals she used for garden work, they found the substance that was used to poison Arkady Lvovich and Galina Simonovna. I hope you find Svetlana Mikhailovna, and she'll be alive and well. She'll explain everything. Next. The blood and microlamins found on this cup belong to Vitaly Shevchuk. The same blood was found in your living room. Of course, the floor was thoroughly cleaned, but modern technologies can detect even the smallest traces of blood. Who killed Shevchuk? Was it you, Svetlana Mikhailovna, or was it your husband? I don't understand what Vitaly could be doing at my home. 
Ira told me when we were still married that she lost her virginity at the age of 15 at the lake on the night before Ivan Kupala. It was a passionate affair, her first love. I asked her if the person was from the local area. She laughed and said it wasn't quite so. I don't understand how this is relevant to my husband. His grandmother lived here. And so? And he used to come here for vacations every summer. Maxim is interested in completely different women. Don't be offended. But I rise too. But Ira suddenly had money to go to restaurants right after you moved to Chernuzersk. It's possible that your husband deceived you for many years, and it was him who fathered Ira's child. I don't believe that. Maxim loves me very much. He would have told me if there were any secrets between us. Maybe I'm mistaken. We need to check this version. Can you give me his toothbrush? Or maybe there are a few hairs on his comb. Of course. Have some tea, it might get cold. Thank you. This photo is 14 years old. Maxim had just returned from the army. Here he is. Pay attention to the body language. Everyone is looking at the camera, but they look at each other. He's also holding Irina by the waist. They already had a connection back then. Vitality suspected it and wanted to get material for DNA tests to confirm if Maxim could be the father of Irina's child. There's no way Maxim would have anything to do with that provincial girl, especially having children with her. He was infertile. We were planning to do artificial insemination. Was. That's what I thought. You killed your husband because you suspected him of cheating. I misspoke. Stop accusing me of murder. Why are you silent? Anna Alexandrovna, I recommend that you confess everything honestly. Thank you for your recommendations. I'll find another lawyer. I don't think anyone will want to get involved defending you. Even for a lot of money. Goodbye. Svetlana Mikhailovna turned out to be strong-willed too. She disconnected her phone. It's unclear where to look for her. Bilea on the line. Hello, Oksana. I wanted to. I have nothing to talk to him about. What about the biological samples from Kostritsky? Nothing. All the clothes have been washed, and personal hygiene items are absent. Is the car being searched for? Of course. 
but there's nothing on that front either. If the Kostritskys were really seeking treatment for infertility, then maybe you should look for a reproductive medicine clinic. Perhaps some samples are still there. Good idea. Thanks. We'll look into it. Pick up the phone. And what has Vera Pavlovna done wrong in your eyes? This call is from her phone. Isn't that obvious? Hello? Hello? I'm listening. Hello? Yes, of course. One moment, Oksana. Everything will be all right. Мы отправили запросы во все репродуктологические центры и нашли немецкую клинику, в которой вы обследовались. Бесплодно, Анна Александровна, вы, а не ваш муж. А это результаты теста ДНК. Валера Ивашко. Биологический сын вашего мужа. Ирина забеременела от него практически сразу после того, как вы поженились. Он не только изменял вам, но и поддерживал любовницу и сына финансово, скорее всего, из ваших же средств. Хотите ударить меня по больне? Не получится. Мы отследили все перемещения его телефона. Вы убили его в ночь, но его накупала. Я уже говорила, что он уехал накануне праздника. Люблю тебя. We interviewed several dozen people, including Koval and your female co-workers. No one saw you after 12 a.m. Dear residents of Chinesesk, I'm pleased to invite you to the Ivan Cupola feast. Let's go. Mikhail Boisevic, Mikhail Boisevic, hello. Look at this action. Let's go. Bravo! 
Happy holiday, dear citizens. You've activated the tracking program on Maxim's phone and realized that he's somewhere on the lake. So you went looking for him. And you found him, didn't you? Him and Irina. They were having sex not far from the shore. I refuse to testify, get a convoy, have him take me to my cell. You may escape interrogation, but you will not escape your memories. I have to go. Okay. When you caught them together, it was so stressful. You lost control. It was more than a betrayal. It destroyed everything you lived for. remember. He was everything to me, you know? I went to that shithole for him because he said it was a place of power and we could finally have children. I believed we would. I really believed it would happen. How did you find out about his connection to Irina? Why did you decide to follow him? Svetlana Mikhailovna overheard someone calling Maxim. He arranged a meeting on the night of Ivan Kupel. And a couple hours later, he said that Grubovsky had called him and had to leave immediately. He got the corpse cleaned up with the help of Svetlana Mikhailovna. Why did you murder Snezana? Did you think she was Maxim's mistress? You couldn't see the woman's face. Did you? We loaded the body and I went back to verify everything. I happened to find an earring with some Georgian jewelry.
Only Snezana had those. You were guarding Snezana during her morning exercise, right? Svetlana Mikhailovna found out that Snezana was running in the mornings along the lake shore. It took me a long time to make sure no one thought it was me. Then you came across Peter's video of the drowning bride. Yes. Snezana didn't try to convince you that she didn't have sex with your husband. She tried. But I didn't believe her. I sedated Snejana with fluoroform and tied her up with water lilies. Why did you kill Varvara? She certainly didn't look like Maxim's mistress. I received an anonymous tip. Then I was blackmailed. They demanded a lot of money. And in the next letter, she told me to bring the money to a place in the woods at Black Lake. Why did you replace the flora form with katamin? Svetlana said it was more reliable. You killed the blackmailer and only then realized you'd killed Snezana for no reason. Yes. Maxim got a text message. I love you. Miss you, where have you missed? I called this number from the city hall while the secretary was making coffees. Irina answered the phone. Your Maxim still hasn't answered anything. Maybe he's decided to leave you. Let him try. Then he'll never see his son again. And that night, I realized it wasn't an affair. He'd been cheating for years. Did you murder Ludmila because you were afraid she'd tell you about your husband's relationship with Irina? Yes. I had to stall so that no one would connect Irina's text messages to Maxim with her death. Weren't you afraid that Irina would guess who killed her friend? No. Did you lure her to the lake using Maxim's name? Did you? You'll be meeting Maxim soon. He's waiting for you. And then, you know, Shavchuk guessed about Irina's relationship with Maxim and came to me. And 
and you wanted to poison me and Arkady Lvovic because you realized that I was interested in your husband? I should have left here a long time ago. But this hospital complex... I wanted to finish it. If I'd given it up, it would have meant I'd failed to Irina. And that she won. Where did you put your husband's body? You won't find it. No one will find him. He's mine. Congratulations, you're great. On what? That I didn't get to learn anything. Come on. No one could have done it better than you. Here we go. I'm just out of the hospital and you're leaving. There's nothing you can do, Galina. It's time to work. They're already waiting for us in the capital. Arkady Lvovic, don't forget about us. Please call us. Obligatory? It's very important to call. It's... By the way, where's my phone? Did you put it in your suitcase? No. I'm not crazy. I probably left it in my room, or yours when I came in. I'll go get it. I'll go get it myself. Maybe she needs help, Oksana. Don't do that. Arkady Lvovic, Arkady Lvovic. I'm sorry I wasn't myself. I said all sorts of nasty things to you. I don't really think so. There's really nothing to apologize for. I really have a terrible temper and I annoy everyone. There's no fixing it. Goodbye. That's not true, you're... You're not like that at all. So, how do you explain these lights that people saw on the lake at night? There is one interesting theory that Anna may have thrown a large underwater hunting lantern with a timer to the bottom of the lake, so it would turn on at the right time. And when the batteries ran out, the mystical lights disappeared. Just like that? Yes, I think that's the most plausible explanation. Yes. With your skills, Olga Nikolaevna, you could be a very good profiler. Well, maybe you'll think about moving to the capital. We'll solve something about housing, and I'll finally get to work on my dissertation. And you won't take me to the capital together? Well, Galake, Galina, we're talking about work, and you just come. I'll always be glad to see you, Oksana. I forgot to tell you, I found the phone. It's time to go. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Oksana, I'll miss you. Come over. Arkady Lvovic. Galakay, thank you for everything. Thank you. 
goodbye. Arkady Lvovic, accept the intern. You've made up your mind after all, I'm glad, very, very glad. Yes, Pavel Sarjevich gave the go-ahead to create a full-fledged perfiller service under your supervision. Well, my thesis is in tears, please, come in. Today, we have a special guest in the studio, Arkady Shulman. He is the one who helped the investigation unravel the dead Lily's case. Arkady Shulman, what struck you most about Anna Skay's personality? Arkady Lovic, what was that about? I got a call from television and was invited to a program. I didn't know Piotr was the host. Colleagues, we have a new case. Here's a serial, five victims, all committed with particular cruelty. Yes. I need the results of the forensics tomorrow, can't you? Then change careers, I don't know, quit. Oksana! Oksana! Oksana Ivanovna, should we take the detainee away, or should we wait for you? Take her away. I'll interrogate her tomorrow. Well, doctor, will she live? Yes. She will. It's a sliding wound. She'll live. Only thing is, I'm sorry about the jacket. It's good that you'll live. I need you. <laughs> 